stop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending live stream. Joining us, of course, is the Howard Hospitality Group and Extreme Vending. Welcome, everyone. Hey! How are we doing on this Wednesday evening? Oh, good, good evening. Good. Yeah, How's everyone's a lot, week? Of, a lot of success this week for me. So I know Howard got a boat with you, place. So yeah, I know we, we saw the video. It was pretty sweet. That yeah. place is amazing, and I've never even heard the concept of being open that late. And they're open till um, one o'clock in the morning some nights, and two o'clock in the morning other nights, and. I was watching it last night and like at midnight, it was doing two or three dollars in one hour, like just <laughs> in the hour. So people were right? playing it, you know, because I was up late and I'm like, that's so cool. You know, at two o'clock in the morning, you know, it's making money. So that's pretty sweet. So we've had a really good week. That's super sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same with awesome. Me, that you got the like... NIAX reader on there, too. That's really cool. Yep. So it's reporting all that all that information back to you. I got to yeah. tell you, man, like we went to dinner last night there because I, I, I couldn't remember whether or not I set it up. I, I was watching the video and well, Amelia and I were watching after we edited and stuff before we posted it. And she's like, did you do the settings? Because they won every time, you know, and <laughs> right? I'm like, I, I was I wondering that I too. Did. I was like, wow, they're sure winning. A yeah, lot I know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I could have sworn I set it up because usually Sam and I do it when we get it all ready to go, you know. And so I went, we wanted to go there. So we went to dinner last night and there it was, there's high school kids there and they all have Apple pay on their phone. And I'd never seen anybody use Apple pay on the NIAX. And it was just like, boom, they put it up there and it's like, please make your selection. And they're like, boom, and they put the phone up there and they were in. And I was like, within like five, six seconds. And I'm like, that's awesome. So I've never even seen it use Apple pay before. Dangerous. So I thought that it's was dangerous. really cool. <laughs> you know, that was pretty neat. So awesome, awesome. I got awesome. to see Apple Pay in action. So that was heck yeah. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, we've got lots of people joining us already. 33 viewers. One more reminder, guys, to make sure you give us a thumbs up to like this live stream, help other people find the live stream. Let's go and recognize some uh some people saying hello. First and foremost, though, Mr. Gumball's jumping in with the super chat. Hey, Mr. Gumballs. Thank you, Mr. Gumballs. Appreciate yeah, that. Love your screen time. name. He also says, hey, guys. Hey, hey Mr. Gumballs. Hey, Thanks for joining Mr. us Gumballs. for yet another week. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and recognize some of the other comments of people saying hello. We've got uh, Moon Water Minerals says, Miss Rin enters the room. <laughs> <laughs> Jose says hi. Hey, Jose. Hey. Hey. Uh, I haven't seen this screen name before. Swedbeam, I'm going to say, says, what's up, y'all? What's up, Swedbeam? Welcome. Hey, Thanks yeah. for joining us. I like that name, too. Yeah. Cool. Jawbone joins <laughs> us, says, hey, guys. It also hey, reminds man. you to make sure you smash that like button. Thank you, yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Um, 720 Vending going to kick us off with our first question this evening. He says, cool. what do you guys think of putting a mini crane at a buffet? Oh, yes, oh, yes, Lord, do yes. it. Oh, yeah. if you can do a buffet, you are golden. You're gonna be so happy. Man, kids love buffets, That's man. Right. They go crazy. They and the parents, the parents can't go wrong. I mean, they could take their kid to a buffet and then get them, you know. I mean, they have everything they ever wanted at that buffet. So buffet heck are, yeah, get a buffet. I wish for sure. For some reason in California, we lost a lot of our buffets during COVID. Yeah. Well, that's you know, fault. that was uh, that's kind of a yeah a touchy subject during the uh, pandemic and stuff. But I will tell you that we have uh, an old country buffet, I think it's called here. Or maybe no not, maybe it's uh, no, it's not old country buffet. That's oh. what they used to be called. What's it yeah, called now? Really um, I I, not like I go there. But anyway, um, <laughs> I wanted to go there to see about putting machine there. But as I was driving by, I could see they had a whole game room full of machines there. Oh, like wow. with all the flashing lights and everything. Um, it's maybe it's. It's funny know. how we notice that stuff, huh? Yeah. I yeah I'm, well, I'm, a, I'm always looking for that. So that's the first thing I look at anytime I go someplace <laughs> is if they have any machines. But yeah, they already have a whole game room. So I can't get a, a machine or multiple machines there into that buffet unless, you know, maybe someday they, that, that vendor pulls out or something. But right now, yeah, I, can't, I can't get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we got some other people saying hello. Let's see. Um, uh, Joey Weems says, yay. Welcome, Joey. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Insert Coin Vending, JD, says, hey, guys. Thanks, hey, Insert hey, Coin Vending, up? for joining us. Appreciate <laughs> that. You. 
Insert coin. Gus. Yeah. Gus coin. That's a cool yeah, one. Yeah. And I, I am not sure how to pronounce this one. So I'm just going to say, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Right. Very cool. Uh, Terrell Edwards says good night. I don't know if he's going to oh, bed already, I, but uh, welcome and thanks I for at least joining us for the beginning of the live stream. <laughs> Appreciate that. I am by, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Matt Barclay says this is Barclay from the Discord. Thanks for joining hey, us for Barclay. the live stream. Appreciate you being here. Thank you Bar-claw, so much. Barclaw, right? Yeah, Barclay. I think he goes by Barclaw. Barclaw. That's right. I think it's Barclaw. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Cool. I see him in there. Very cool. Very cool. And then it looks like we've got uh, Jordan Powell joining us. He says, my four claw machines arrived a few days ago. So excited. Have nice. you gone hey, out to look for locations cool. yet? Wow. That's what, what, cool. What were they? Were they super minis, regular minis? Uh, yeah, what did minis? you get? And yeah, then put what, the comment, what machines uh, you, you got? Yeah. That's and what cool. locations, if any, do you have? We'd like to know yeah. what you got. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. That's awesome. For sure. And then it looks like I just got a I just got a text from PA Pokemon Pools. Uh, he says, "Hey there, guys and gals. Matt, I sent you a text. Red Bull Blue, a Dollar General, seven fifty for three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you watched my shopping video this yep. week, I went on a Red Bull haul, right? Trying to find the best deal on Red Bull, but seven fifty for three. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be the greatest yeah. deal. Your right. your hair looks fantastic, by the way, tonight, Matt. Just had to Thank tell you. you, it looks good. Appreciate that. Appreciate no that. problem. It does. It looks really good. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I've been noticing, like, like too, like when I watch the replay, my camera quality is not never looks as good as yours, or both of yours, honestly. I don't know if it's maybe my internet connection or what, but I've got fiber, so I don't know why. Really? Maybe it's my computer. I don't know. I don't I, know. We, I have, um, we have the same camera, David. Yeah, we all I. we all have the same camera. So oh, you have the be, same one too. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It should be the same. It should be the same quality because I I yeah. ordered the same camera that you guys got. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hey, in the comments, <laughs> let me know if I look laggy or not because I feel like my internet sucking tonight. You're a little yeah. laggy. Yeah, you're, laggy. you're 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 a little uh, like grainy. You look a little grainy. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. We can still hear you, okay? Though we can like... hear you just fine. That's yes. good. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Hastings joins us. Says hello. Hey, Anthony. Or he says yo. Hey, Anthony. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh, Keith Arnold says, "Good evening, fellow craniacs. Thanks for joining us, Keith." <laughs> That's a new, new term. I like that, craniacs. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then look who we got here, CandyMachines.com oh, joining Kevin. us. Says, "Good evening. Hey. Thanks for joining us, Kevin." Hey, Kevin. We're getting closer and closer to all meeting up in person. I know, and we're the giveaway. Look, we're looking forward to it. Yep. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, this is a cool one. Mark, Matt Carter joins us. Says, "Hey guys, got my first crane game delivered today." Nice. There we go. Wow. Cool. That's Congratulations awesome. on that. That's really cool. And then Anthony Hastings talking about buffets. Says you need to have large cranes buffets. So no minis and buffets. That makes sense because you need, you'll need some pretty good capacity there if you have a buffet. Yeah. For sure. I think Very also cool. if you did a, if you did two minis, it'd be kind of cool. You could do like a fifty percent and a dollar one next to each other. Yes. You might do yeah. pretty well. If, yes. you, if you do a mini, you probably want more than one mini in a buffet. Right. Yes. But I'm getting yes. three machines in the freaking buffet, man. You'll be really happy. And <laughs> seven twenty seven twenty vending says they've got golden corrals there, and that's exactly what I have here. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm, my my mind reverted back to the '90s for a minute there when I said old country buffet. Yeah. Obviously, that's all all closed up. But we do have golden corral. That's what I was talking about as well. Mm-hmm. Couldn't think of the name of it though. Too funny. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So Matt says, I love my sushi buffet here, but every maximize they've maximized every square foot for seating. Mm. I've I've been to locations like that too, where there's literally yeah. nowhere to put a machine. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, Brad point. Brown says good evening, guys. Hey Brad, thanks for good joining evening. us. And we've also got Delwig here. Delwig says hi. Hey, Delwig. Thanks for, hey, Del, us. Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. Hey, Del. Delwig's my that. best friend in the whole wide world, just to let you guys know. That's right. Best friend That's cool. He uh, he's, he's kind of our doorman, too. He sometimes keeps the riffraff out of the comments for us, too. We, so right. we appreciate that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, so Jonathan, tell us more about this uh, this Boba spot. So, what, I know. I know you said they're open late, but what what else? What else, What all do they serve? I know they got food too, don't they? Yeah. So we didn't really realize because we were we. Amelia got the idea. She said from David because David told us about boba shops, and he said they're the place to be. And so 
she she said david yeah. said so we should go look for one and so we went to one and the guy said yes and we went to another one and that was this one and the guy was so nice to amelia and this one just opened and it's called after hours boba and it's in woodland california and it's it's you they open at noon every day except for monday they're closed and they open till noon and they stay up till one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning they serve burgers fries all kinds of like fried food like um they even have tacos and like all kinds of stuff like that, like all kinds of food you'd eat, you know, after you went to the bar or something like that. But it's packed with all ages of people. So it's it's not just young kids, it's adults and everybody that w when we've been there has been all ages. Mm -hmm. And um, so they do, and then they also have ice cream. So they do ice cream, boba and, and full food too, on top of it, all in one spot. So it was really cool. The other boba shop, the guy said yes. And then I guess he talked to his wife and she said, oh, I've already had the idea for that. So we're going to do our own. So she got kind of turned down for that one. So she did have two boba shops. Yeah. But Let's... the other one, the other one, after he talked to the boss, she said no, because she she had already came up with that idea, I guess. So, so but we this have place. A, yeah, cool. we have a similar a similar location here, actually multiple of them. And they, they don't do boba, but they do ice cream and they do like all the food you can think of, hot dogs, hamburgers, like you know, your typical, like, I don't know, almost like a diner, but not really a diner. You know what I mean? Right, Something right. Like, that. like a modern um, diner. Yeah. Yeah. Like kind of yeah. like that. Uh, but they, 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 in their name, they've got ice cream in their name. So you wouldn't think to go there for food, but they've got really good food. But like in every location, there's another vendor already has machines in every location. So they must oh. have had worked out like some sort of deal. But yeah, same thing though. I mean, all, there's always kids there. There's always people there. Everybody's always pumping money in those machines. So I, I'm, I'm missing out. I'm missing yeah, out. Yeah, well, it's funny because after that, then she, she's she been going she's been going on the internet at school because they give her time, which yeah. is cool. So she's been coming home every day with the new list of a, oh, a places city. she wants to hit. She wants to go, yeah. She's all about the boba because she knows if we go to the boba shop, she gets boba. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what she Very wants cool. to go, So Very cool. Yeah, that's her new thing. So thanks, David. You, you turned sure. around. Yeah. <laughs> I got to jump ahead in the comments real quick. We just okay. had another super chat come in from Sweatbeam. Thank you so oh, much. He says, oh, says uh, Sweatbeam Gaming and Vending, new Discord member here. Appreciate yeah. all the knowledge and Q&As on the Discord. Best resource around. Love awesome. the amusement gaming focus too. Question coming soon. No space. Oh, he didn't have the room to put the question. That's awesome. He's question. <laughs> so he'll be sending us a question soon that we'll make sure we have to, to hey, acknowledge that question. That. Thank you so much for the super well, chat. We really awesome. appreciate that. Matt it's, has no choice but go to Vegas now. That's all going into the <laughs> Vegas fund. Yes, we're like I said, we're, we're going to use those funds to make some cool videos, to, to have some nice dinners, different things like that. Of course, you know, airfare, hotel, all that stuff too. But uh, I'm telling you guys, we're going to make some great content while in Vegas. There's going to be all kinds of collaborations and lots of lots of great Vegas fun for sure. So thank you. Thank you again for the super chat. We really do appreciate that. Yeah, we love your support, everyone. Man, it helps. Heck out. yeah. All right. I did have a question come in. It's from Hero3. And it says, Gigi, why do you only do short videos on your toy soldiers? I think he means my toy taxi machine that's yeah. at the pizza restaurant. And one of the reasons why I own, I've only been doing short videos from that location is because honestly, it seems like it only takes me like literally like a minute or two to service the machine. So, you know, I, I you know, make sure that everything looks good inside and I collect the money. So it's, I really, I can't really make a full long drawn out video for one quick, you know, collection. So I, I've just been doing shorts for those. Man. And for those of you that don't know, YouTube shorts get a lot of different uh, algorithm play, so to speak, compared to regular long form videos. So it's really been helping grow the channel too by doing short videos as well. So, uh, I mean, I think just today I've gotten like 50 subscribers or something like that. So, Whoa. yeah, it's, it's, it's been it's been a good day. We're Like I said, we're going ourselves to be at 10,000 for Las Vegas. If that'll happen, if that happens, we'll have a, a real, real good party while we're there for sure. We'll make it happen <laughs> for fun. sure. I'm going to, I'm going to be passing out business cards and everything, whatever I can do. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll try and do some more long, long form videos on that toy taxi. But right now we've just been doing the shorts cause it's usually just a quick collection, but maybe we'll make it more vlog style next time and make it a little bit longer for sure. Cool. All right. Um, uh, Randy Straley's here says evening all welcome, Randy. Thanks for joining hey, us. Appreciate you being here. Hey. And Lolly also joins us says, hello. Hey, hey Lolly. Lolly. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you coming back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
for yeah, sure. 54 viewers right now. We're about to hit that 60 54. again. 54. Yeah, so we, if we can break 65 61. tonight, 61. that would be a nice improvement week over week because that's yeah. all we're looking for is week over week incremental improvements, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, although it'd be cool if we got crazy, though, for sure. All right, next question or comment comes from Jordan. He says, regular minis, the ones from Alibaba, I'm looking to get some locations tomorrow. So he was talking about the shipment that he received. Very cool. Yeah. Well, oh, good right. luck. Yeah. Good luck going out there and finding those locations where uh, we're we're behind you. If there's any uh, advice you can have, just talk to uh, talk to Amelia over there. She'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> She's with a friend right now having dinner. So when she gets oh. home, she can yeah. Okay, so so save that I'm for a later. Lone, lone soldier for a little while right now. She'll be have uh, have now. Jonathan there send you a copy of the flyer, and then you can just say she's your yeah. daughter, and you're putting the machine in for her. <laughs> That's already worked for somebody. No problem. Right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, Cassandra has a question or a comment. Says, "What do you think of our ABN empty space invaders? We have mini claw machines. What's ABN? Anybody know what ABN means? No. I'll look it up. <laughs> ABN. I'll take a look on Google. Okay. That's why we have. Google. We'll go on to so, the next one. I like space invaders though. If you're talking yeah. about the arcade machine or even the pinball machine, there was a space invaders pinball machine too." Um, and there was even actually a newer Space Invaders arcade machine, too. So I'm not sure if you're re relying or referring to one of those kind of things, but cool. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Let me look ahead and see if there's any other. I don't see any other comments. So let us know in the comments what you mean, and we'll, uh, we'll be sure to talk about it. All right, Matt Barclay says, three Golden House in yesterday, two set up, zero locations yet. So nice. kind of like Jordan, get out there and find those locations. Uh, borrow Jonathan's flyer and... Uh, Go <laughs> get yourself some spots. You're gonna love those machines, man. They're awesome. You're Heck gonna yeah. love them. They're yeah. great. Oh, they're good machines too. Yeah, that's what we like I to hear. Them. And then yeah, this is a cool great. screen name. Narwhal Fun and Entertainment says hi. Oh, everyone. Narwhal, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. David was excited for that one. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's the people that I know. So. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just going out there. I, you ever go up to a stranger and say hi? I did that. The Thinking it was somebody people. else? I gave them a hug and they're like, what's up? And then I realized I didn't know that lady. So, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's, it's kind of funny you said that because I thought, you know, since we're going to be in Vegas, maybe we'll have a little bit of fun, right? And how funny would it be to make some videos where we walk up to random strangers who look similar to celebrities but are clearly are not those celebrities and oh, act no. like we think they are those celebrities and ask for their autograph and stuff like that. Like, how funny do you think that would be? You think that, you think it would go well on YouTube? I, I do that all the time in real life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Too funny. Well, who knows? Like I said, we've, we've got a lot, we're kicking around a lot of ideas of content to make while we're in Vegas. Obviously, the majority of our content is going to be focused on uh, the <laughs> National Bulk Vending Association's conference and trade show. And uh, Jonathan's going to be a guest speaker. We're going to harass him while he's uh, speaking. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking forward to that. Everybody yes. in the Discord and everybody on this chat should be at NVVA in Vegas. If you don't want to do anything with bending, I mean, it's the place to be. So you got to go. And, I mean, it's really inexpensive. So, I mean, it's not like it's a big, huge, yeah. expensive trip. I mean, it's a little bit for you because you got airfare, Matt. But, I mean, yeah. Other than that, I mean, the, the conference is really inexpensive and the people you meet there because it's, it's the amusement expo on top of the vending expo. So you've got that plus laser tag, plus virtual reality, plus, uh, you know, pinball from what I understand. So, I mean, there's so much to see that, you know, this is where you meet all the industry people. For I can't wait to go and see you guys and like go and <laughs> yeah. see your uh, Jonathan's uh what do you call it, a convention or whatever, where you're going up and you're speaking and stuff like that? And then, oh, oh really, yeah. Look at yeah. games, 20 bucks to say, like a boss. A, that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I gotta, I gotta do it, right? Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, Please don't. Uh, I skipped I ahead, and CC is the people I'm thinking of. So, hi. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll get there in just a minute. We're, we're only ten minutes behind on yeah. comments right now, okay, but okay. we're already twenty minutes into the, into the live stream. Now's a good time since we're talking about the National Bulk Vending Association's trade show and conference. Let's talk about what we're going to give away while we're there. Yes, right. Yeah, I'll kick yeah. it off tonight. Okay, all right. Why not? Right? Is that cool? Yes. Yeah. You guys good with that? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're yeah. giving away a super mini claw machine. The three of us, in conjunction with CandyMachines.com, 
going to give it away in Las Vegas on March 28th, 29th, one of those days once we get the actual schedule. We'll know more of, of when we're going to give it away. But here's what you need to do in order to qualify to win the Super Mini Claw Machine. First and foremost, got to subscribe to all three of our channels. That's Galaxy Games 843, the Howard Hospitality Group, and Extreme Vending here on YouTube. Once you've done those three things, you got to do two more things. And you can find the directions in the description of this live stream. So first, you want to make sure you join us on our Discord. So mm -hmm. uh, if you're not already a member of our Discord, you're missing out. So definitely join us in our Discord. There's lots of great people, lots of great information in there. And then follow the other link in the description to go to the CandyMachines.com website's registration page. Fill that out, and then you are qualified to win the Super Mini Claw Machine. Like I said, we're going to give it away at the convention in Las Vegas. And uh, we're going to send it right to you free of charge, no shipping. And Toy. it's going to come full of product for your players. Yeah. Good times. Awesome. And thank you, know, you Kevin, uh, from uh, Candy Machines. Yes, yeah. thank you, Kevin, from Candy Machines. And, and, uh, one other thing, if I could, CandyMachines.com is having a mega sale on so many products. So yeah. if you guys want some like emojis at nearly dirt cheap prices or, or just a nice 540 mix for 160 bucks, go to CandyMachines.com. The mix, the, they're so cheap right now. And make sure you use Howard's uh, referral link. Support him and yeah. Amelia. That's also we down do. in the description of this live yeah, stream. Use our, link. use our link Take in the description right now. Yeah, tell them about those emojis right now, David. They're yeah, they're, they're, you get for $29. It's $29, right? $29.99. It's, it's crazy to think it's this cheap. $29.99 for 100 emoji plus. You know I use those for my mix, for my claw, mini claw machines. They for fit perfectly in the minis there's other stuff out there there's those shiny little octopuses that everyone yeah. loves that that are five centimeters and then or which is two inches whatever and then they got the the poppets and the two inch two, two inch duckies you get 540 of those for 160 bucks what is that like 25 cents a piece yeah not even right cents a piece. i don't know you're that you're that you're the math guy right? dude. Yeah, you're... <laughs> yeah, that's a weird number to divide i'm just gonna of all of us like you're all i know is I watch your videos and you're like, you're like, uh, it's 184 quarters. All right, that's this this much money. I'm like, man, how yeah, do you do that? Kevin's got a major yeah. sale going on. So if you guys need probably conversations I've had with you over the brain is <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good like that. But yeah, man. so <laughs> make sure you follow all those steps so that way you're qualified to register to win the Super Mini Claw Machine and also get to yourself some bonus chances by commenting on all of our videos. Yep, for Very sure. Much so. oh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's address a couple more comments and then we'll move on to any other topics we got going on. Um, Insert Coin Vending says, I was reading the Discord chat history that it can take months to activate a Nyax reader. Is that still the case? Is there any way to have it expedited? Our first machine arrives Monday and it's a super mini. I've heard oh, it's cool. shorter now. I've heard yeah. it's not two months anymore. I mean, it's still going to be about a month from what I've been hearing people say. So it's still going to take a while. But once your first one gets activated, your account is what you're waiting for. It's yes. you're activating your account. But once your account's activated, then everything you add after that is easy. like hours. I mean, they're not even quicker than that, right, David? I mean, it's super fast. Well, I had to wait on hold forever, and I ended up getting uh, Matt from Niax to help me. It was okay. funny because Matt came on and started doing it for me. He was so awesome. And then they finally yeah. called me back. Matt was, you know, busy doing all his other stuff. He helped me out before Nyx ever did. So <laughs> Nyx is still slow in my opinion, but it's not like what it used to be. Yeah. And you'll if you hear your Nyx reader in on your second one, third one in after if after you're already activated, it's not a big deal anymore. So and then if you ever get a hold of Matt, Matt Matt's super awesome. So yeah, but that's one thing too. Work. If you choose option two and then there's a wait, you can opt to have them call you back when it's your that's turn in fastest. line. That's the best yeah. way to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah take that option yeah. they'll call you back and if you're looking to get yeah. nyx credit card readers for your machines make sure you use the checkout code galaxy games 843 yep you'll save some cash that's what i did yep. i bought right. i got seven of them so far seven like, <laughs> seven from yeah. a lot of money. and i'm not done i'm buying a whole bunch more using the gg 843 discount there you go yeah, you insert coin vending, like it it's just your initial setup that's yeah. gonna take some time. But after that, every other Nyx reader you add is gonna be super quick. So it's just the it's just your account, unfortunately. But after that, it'll be super fast. So, for sure, and for it's sure. so convenient when you have the mm -hmm. Nyx readers. I can see all my machines right now. Heck I can yeah. log on and see how much money I made. Heck yeah. Beautiful. For sure. All right. Next comment comes in from CC. This is your friend, right? 
says, hey, David, yeah. so shout out to your chocolate milk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to your story behind the chocolate yeah. milk? Yeah, no, I, you know, I'm Mormon, so I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink coffee. And my wife came because I was meeting up with CC at the lockers. They were buying those claw machines, those dozen claw machines. Yeah, yeah. They were so, they brought me, I forget the name of the company, but they brought me some food and they were just super awesome. They yeah. were so likable. Anyways, I had chocolate milk and because that's what <laughs> I drink. And it fell over. And, oh, know, it fell over. It, it, it spilled. But I was nearly done. So it wasn't that bad. But thank you, guys. <laughs> Too you're funny. like me you're like a big kid i like that <laughs> i like well I, I go to this place called nana's coffee corner and they make good chocolate milk sometimes they put, like, <laughs> that's not I, I can't remember the last time i had chocolate milk honestly it sounds amazing though I it love really does. Chocolate milk. yeah i like right. it my wife gets a coffee and i get a chocolate milk there you go and then hero three is asking extreme do you have a black eye <laughs> no i'm just really laggy yeah i, I just think a little, really a little grainy Got some yeah. shadows going on over there. He's good. Yeah, it's kind of super light. Well, it might be also the lighting. Could be. <laughs> it could be the lighting. Yeah. You need to get yourself a huge yeah. ring light like I got here over here. It's blinding you know, me. That's what I need. Yeah. Stop and I making my wife mad. You get green screen and go all in on live streams. I like live streams. Too funny. All right. Uh, next comment comes in from Moon Water Minerals. Says, I've got some things in my cart from the CandyMachines.com website. That's cool. Debating on a sticker machine for my crystal stickers. Maybe that's lame. Well, here's the deal. No. If the crystal stickers don't do well, you could always put Pokemon cards yes, in there. Yes, you well can. With those. Yeah. PA, PA Pokemon, Pokemon Pools is here, right? Yep. And PA Pokemon Pools has got a bunch of boxes ready, he said. So if you need cards, he's got them ready to go um in our discord so and i know you're in the discord moon water mineral so um you know get in touch with him but you know if you buy one of those sticker machines from candy machines they come with three rows so you can put pokemon cards and put your crystal stickers and all that stuff in there and then you know and you said something about our duty stickers you could put duty <laughs> stickers in there too and you know have also, a good mix <laughs> also i don't know if you guys have been watching quick plays community page but they've been asking they've been having polls on what machine they should give away next yeah it oh, looks yes. like they're going to be giving away oh. a sticker slash pokemon vending machine next wow. so you might want to jump in there and talk to pa pokemon polls before they go live with that because yeah. that's going to create some uh kind of a market for those for those bulk pokemon cards if you know what i mean right they might not yeah. be as easy to find if quick play who just got 300,000 subscribers Dang. is promoting those right they just passed 300,000 yeah. yeah they were they they i mean a lot of people have been going with the sticker machines now it's great i'm i'm glad because i mean we've been doing it for a while and they've been yeah. awesome for us so i mean for sure i don't think it's lame to have any stickers or pokemon cards or anything like that they Agreed. do really well yeah. and usually locations don't sell stickers or cards so right. you can go place them almost anywhere and you're not interfering with their candy sales or their, you know, any of that stuff. So they don't mind having it there. So it, it opens up locations too, which is good. So for yeah. sure, for sure. But use the link, use our link for use your the candy machines.com link. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Very cool. All right. Twitty production says, hello. Hey, Twitty. Hey. That's a cool hey. name. I like that. Um, and then Oxford Superhost says, hotty toddy from Oxford. Hello, Oxford. Hey. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Susan Alexandria says, Hey everyone, or hi everyone. Hello. Hey Susan. Hey. I like that cat in your picture there. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. Yeah, very cool. And Travis Tyler says, Know of any other big name locations like Denny's that may allow bulk vending racks or claw machines? That's a great question. Hey, hon. Well, there, I found a mom and pop shop. It looked like the old Denny's location. And I was doing really well talking with them, but they had one of those dry erase boards and I was leaning against the counter and that's where it was. And I accidentally raced the special of the day with my belly. So <laughs> that. Really now that would have been a funny video. That. Yeah, I was like, my wife's like, you just erased their special of the day and it's on my belly. So I quickly ran out before they came back out and realized I was embarrassed. Too funny, too funny. And then uh, Joe Weems says, and I'm not sure I understand this one, says, could have turned around and retailed her your machine, HHG. Not sure what that means. No. Uh, Hunger, uh, Howard Hospitality Group. I oh. know what that means. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what could have turned around and retailed her your machine meant. Hmm. I don't know either. 
I don't know. Resolve. Maybe clarify that one for us, Joe. I know. I know we're like twenty minutes behind, but yeah. Sorry. So, about, sorry Joe. about that. But uh, yeah, if you want to throw another comment down, we'll we'll get back to it for sure. Yeah. Uh, Juan says I have six boba locations. My best locations. Yeah. The yes. Boba, boba must be the uh, next big thing, right? Yeah. For it is. locations. Awesome. Ask Amelia. She knows. <laughs> oh, and I, I did. I did read ahead in the comments. Joe said because she had uh, the place that turned you all down. Turned you all down. Yeah. What? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm sure we'll get a clarification. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we get there. We'll figure it out. All right. Uh, Matt Barclay says, question, strategies for getting to owners, particularly when they own multiple places, I keep getting blocked by assistant managers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They're like the gatekeepers, right? Yeah. It can be <laughs> challenging sometimes. It's got to be persistent and yes. talk to be like, no, I want to talk to the owner. Ask uh, open-ended questions, not yes, no answer questions. Find out when yep. they're going to be there. Find out when they're going to be there. Get their contact information so you can reach exactly. out to them. Mm -hmm. probably not Don't have the manager either. tell the owner what you're bringing them. You want to be the one to talk to the owner. because They're yes. just going to be like, hey, this guy came in here and wants to place a crane here. Okay, you I'll know, tell him no. I found yes. another secret the other day, which I'll uh, share with everybody. Is uh, sharing secrets. Here we go. Sharing secrets is to go to the local. Um, uh, not hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Ready? <laughs> go to the local chamber of commerce website of your the town that you want to go to, and usually they have the businesses listed in the chamber of commerce and a lot of times it'll tell you who the owner is or direct contact information for the owner in the chico chamber of commerce because it's for business to business sales yeah so there might be some information in there if you haven't looked at the chamber might be a place good place to go to find out information on the owners so that's my tip of the day it's also good for you to get involved with the chamber of commerce yep. as well because that's going to create a lot of contacts and a lot of uh you know information sharing networking for, yep for other for networking. Sure. exactly for sure for sure. Cool. All right. Uh, Moonwater Minerals says the Discord is seriously a gem. Absolutely oh, it is. Yes, we're we're it glad is. everyone's there and everyone's having a good time and everyone's getting uh, some good usage out of it. So that's cool. Um, Hero 3 says, I'm thinking of selling three locations with machines, stickers, and candy and use that money to invest in minis. What are your thoughts? Sure. Uh, I would use those locations as and put a mini in there if you can. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, that would be ideal, right? Yeah. That would probably yeah. be the best option, but you know, you might need to you know, create some funds in order to order those minis. So I can understand that too. Uh, ultimately, you know, whatever you decide is going to be what's best for you. Yes. Yeah. But we certainly understand where you're coming from for sure. A lot of places have yeah. finance, you know, so yeah, you can you can a credit card. Yep. We're even credit trying card. to work on some deals maybe for discord members too, that we can help with. For we that. are uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. more to come on that, but uh, maybe we'll uh, get some designated uh, things where we can maybe work out some sort of deal for uh, anyone that's looking for something like that. Who knows? More to come on that, though. For sure. All right. Uh, Kimberly says, you three literally caused me to push to open our own arcade. Friday is Ooh. the day. How cool is that? Congratulations. Can you put that in Discord wow. and show yeah. everyone. Yeah. We want to see pictures. We want to know where it's at. We want to know yeah, how it's going. Cool. You know, do Absolutely. you have a YouTube channel? Let's let's uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody would love to see that. How Man, cool! Congratulations, by the way, that's awesome. That is cool, very cool. very cool. Congratulations, Kimberly. That's yeah. really awesome. That's, that's something yeah, I've wanted to do for a long time, but just never been able to line up the right deal on yeah, the either. space. So, right? me either. I got really close like several times and it just yeah. didn't work out. Yeah, for sure. And then Brody asks, what's the normal amount for leasing a store? So that kind of is a good segue onto the next thing, right? Because like, I know like I've looked into my malls and the malls, most malls anyway, have all these crazy requirements in order for you to get space in them in order to put any type of store, no matter what kind of store it is. So right. like my mall, for example, they have a base rent price. On top of that, they have a common area maintenance fee, also called CAMS, right? Mm -hmm. And then they want weekly sales reports and a percentage of your sales after a certain amount. Damn. So like, for example, I was looking at an 800 square foot space. So really small, right? It was going to be enough for maybe 12 machines, some cranes, some stackers, barber cut, you know, key master, that kind of stuff is what I had in, in mind. 
They wanted $2,200 a month plus another, I think, 800 in CAM. So it would have been like three grand a month. And then weekly sales reports and then 25% of any sales over, I want to say it was like seven grand a month or something like that. I can't remember what the crazy number was, but it was ridiculous what they wanted. So therefore, obviously that did not work out for me because I wasn't willing to agree to those terms. Yeah. But now like quick play, for example, they've shared their information, their, their smaller space they had for like a thousand dollars a month. That was it. And now I think the new space is double that, but it's like way bigger, but yeah, you know, none, none of that other crazy requirements, no cams, no sales reports, no percentages, nothing like that. So, you know, your, your mileage may vary when it comes to different places like that, for sure. Have you guys run into anything like that too? Well, the, the location, I almost had the mall that I almost had, is such a good mall and i'm so sad because i went on a vacation and i came back and i missed the email and uh they got some other vendor and they said to come back after the holidays but now they got said they got too many uh vendor vendors whatever yeah and uh, it was gonna be a thousand dollars a month for middle aisle right in front of the uh food court was right here and so not an actual was, storefront but like just yeah, have been, the machines there right kind of like what uh was it eat not et vending uh true vending or i can't think of the name right now um, yeah but they they have that and they have two machines and they kill it they do like three grand a month and they get yeah. four hundred dollars a month i believe or nice yeah that sounds awesome very cool all right uh next comment comes from travis says got a boba place that just opened in town i want to see about putting a bulk vending machine in there little pokemon toys would be good for a boba spot i think you can't go wrong anywhere with pokemon Right, yeah, I think you should try yeah, to put a mini mini yeah. claw machine in there. Put a mini in there. Put a bulk rack mm-hmm. in there. Whatever you want. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of that stuff for sure. Yeah. Uh, but anything Pokemon is going to be hot. You, you know, we do the Pokeballs. We do the Pokemon cards. I do the Pokemon prizes in my bigger machines. They they all do well for sure. For sure. All right. A giant gumball machine. <laughs> yes. My <laughs> quick play. Quick play style. Yeah. All right, here's another question from 720 Vending. Uh, not Nyax, but asking, has anyone ever put a cantaloupe e-port on a mini crane? So um, we, because we have, um, you know, we have those, what are they called? They're called um, Pico Minis on our vending machines, on all of our full line. And because we got them from from um, Wittern, and that's what they came with. And we ordered extra ones of those that I have kind of laying around for the next Pepsi machines we put in, but they're, they don't have, they're working on a pulse cable right now. So from what I understand, the cantaloupe doesn't have a fully working pulse cable unless that's changed. That was in September. They were working on it. And Kevin from candy machines was actually going to be getting one from them and doing tests on it. So I haven't checked with them since then. But Kevin's in the disc or in the chat right now, and maybe he can comment on that um, that cable. But that's what they that's all they needed. They don't do pulse without that cable, so they could possibly by now. But then they didn't, so that was where they were then. But now it was in September, like I said, so that was a long time ago, August September. So they could have a working that's pulse fine. cable now, but you need the machine has to have a pulse cable. So that's kind of what they're waiting on. All right, so I, so I just got a private message, and I got to okay. share. So it's a, it's from Kimberly uh, with the arcade, and um, also, I, I might not be saying this right, but Vahila Gaming, all right? So they just opened the arcade, and they sent me some pictures here on my uh, direct message. So take a look at this. So, so here's here's one of their, one of their spots. Okay. Oh, wow. Right? Very and cool, then yeah. There's another corner. How cool is that looking right there? That looks Whoa. awesome. That looks sweet. Is that a gun gun right there? That looks like one of those uh, uh, shooters. Uh, looks like it's a Terminator Salvation, maybe. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that yeah one. it's a shooter. Yeah. That's a huge machine. Yeah, those are. they got some good stuff in there. They got yeah, some, uh, really looks nice. like wow, they didn't Mario go, they Brothers. Done. They got some classics in there, too. And so jealous, a, man. That's so even, cool. There's, there's even a, a video showing us around. I mean, how cool is that? Very that cool. is right. That is pretty legit and awesome. Yeah. And do they have a YouTube? I think they might have said. Okay, YouTube is Kimberly Pickett. So we'll have to go. I'll have to go subscribe to that for sure. We'll have yeah, to go check that out. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Congratulations. That's so cool. They're giving me all kinds of information too. I don't know if I can share that, but um, yeah, great stuff here. Um, 
Travis and Kimberly, if you if you want to throw more information in the comments, go ahead. Um, you know, comment it up. Really cool information in there. Awesome, and congratulations. That place looks sweet, by the way. Uh, all right, they say share away. All right, so um, they're in a mall. It's twelve hundred square feet, twenty five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, for the that's about right. There you so, go. just like you said, that's but that's quick play pay. But uh, that's that's a lot. You know, a lot bigger space than what Is I. Is that a I big city at. or a small city, or did they say? Did not say where it's at. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, very cool information. Yeah, I want to see for, stuff uh, uploaded. Thanks for sharing. It says it says there's 28 machines in there. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, I like that. There's a mix of classic stuff and the current stuff too. And cranes, which is cool. And cranes, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with those. It says it's a middle-sized town. It's a very oh, cool. Thanks, good. thanks so much for sharing. That's awesome information. Yeah, that's awesome. We're, we're really pleased. I'm going to go check out the YouTube channel, too. I want to definitely see all that. Very cool. Well, again, thanks for sharing. That's awesome. All right. Next comment comes from Adam Gale. Says, hey, all. Hi, Adam. Thanks hey, for joining us. What's up, Adam? Very cool. And then LJB Fit is here. Says, hey, guys. Just here to say hello and drop a like. We'll watch later. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Even if you're going to watch later, it's all good. Thanks. Thank yeah. you so much. LJB got like a boba place, too, or an ice cream. Yeah. Store. Yeah, you got something. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. For sure. Hey guys, we're currently at 53 viewers. Nice. We've only got 28 likes though. So if you could give us oh. a, a thumbs up, please. Come on, peeps. Help, help other people find this live stream. Let's get us up over 60 and over 65 tonight. I think we, we broke 60 last week, but we haven't done that yet tonight. So share it out. Give it thumbs up. Help other people find the live stream. We would appreciate that. All right, 720 Venny, look at this, says he's jumped 43 subs since the last live stream. And if you remember nice. last week, 720 hit 500 subs. So, wow. cool. Well, that's a good trend. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, David Olivio says, what's up, Vending family? Hey, David. Thanks hey, for joining hey. us. Appreciate you being here. Very cool. And then uh, Keith Arnold says, are there any other companies other than Nyax that supply credit card machines for cranes? That's so kind of like what we were about. talking about just yeah. now with uh, the cantaloupe e-port. So they don't have the pulse cables available yet that we're aware of. Um, what was that? And Kevin, that? like I said, Kevin made no different. I'm just yeah. saying that back then, because I called asking him because, you know, we had him and he, he said, yeah. And so, and he said, you know, I'm working on that. So that was back then, but I don't know. They were supposedly sending him one to test out. So hopefully they've changed because we've got those machines here. I'd love to try one on there yeah. and see how it does, see if it works. Because they're also, pretty what, good little, they're the little touchscreen ones. I don't what know was that other thing we video. were talking about though? That was only a Wi-Fi device, the cloud or something. The cloud. Yeah, that the, was the, just to check your how the machine's doing. Yeah, it doesn't take credit but, cards, but it still reports no. back sales and stuff like that. No, they use time. Wi-Fi. There. Cool. All right. Ryan B says, uh, Ryan B1803 says, Extreme Vending, can you put Nyax card readers on mini cranes? Yes, you can. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can. Uh, what's great about the mega minis and the regular minis is it comes with a, a little cable, and all you have to do is just solder the three little wires together, the pulse and the uh, positive negative, yep. and it just plugs right in, and you're done, other than you know installing a Nyax reader. It's really easy. I made a couple of videos. Actually, I made one video, work on the second video of it. So one thing, one, one question I have for you guys, since you, you guys have, are, are running these now and they're on your machines and they're out on location, so you can see credit card transactions, right? You can see yes. coin transactions, but you cannot see dollar transactions. Is that correct? Oh, um, you can. Okay. You can. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so oh, I'm, oh, that's where the go confusion ahead comes into play for me. <laughs> oh, well, on ours, um, we, we had some DBAs that there was a little run of DBAs on the Golden Houses that weren't working properly that since have been replaced with a different DBA that works just mm -hmm. fine. But for a little while, that's what I was talking to you about why we couldn't see the dollar bills was just because the certain DBA that was on the machine wasn't reading, you know, what it was taking, but that's all been fixed now. And so all the new stuff is, is working just fine. But the candy machine ones have always worked. I think your minis have always worked, right? David? Yeah. The, the minis I use, they all work. I can see the coin in coin, the dollar bill yeah. in, like I can look at it right now. I'll log in Good and stuff. I got six, five machines going and i got cash right here made 29 dollars in cash 26 dollars in credit card sales nice. yeah. uh, all right good because awesome. that's yeah, like, a, like, like, a, like like something that was never 100 percent clear in everyone's videos so i'm glad we we're able to clear that up tonight perfect yeah. good 
All right, then uh, here's uh, the channel from Kimberly as well, and Travis, Vahila Gaming, says, Opening our new arcade on Friday. You guys are a huge inspiration and help. Aw, Very nice. Cool. Glad we can be of assistance. I'm jealous of these I people with their arcades. Yeah. It's so this cool. needs to be uploaded. Yeah, yeah. Make sure, definitely make some videos. Even if yeah, you're just please. walk through videos showing us the, you know, the machines and kind of how Gosh. you're doing, things like that. That's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. I want to see clips. <laughs> All right, Susan has a question. Does does AZ Amusements offer pre-installed Niax readers, or do you have to install them yourself? Nope. Yeah, he'll do it for you. Yeah. Game Machines, I think, also does it too. Yep. But Game Machines will do it for you, and AZ Amusements will do it for you. So Both you will install to. them for you. Very cool. But they're honestly not that hard. So yeah, you you can. Howard's got a video on it too. Yeah. I mean, the way I learned was actually watching Howard's video, and that's why I mentioned him in the video. I'm like, Howard really opened it up. I'm like, that's yeah. really easy. And I bought it's because of Howard. I bought what seven Nyx Raiders already <laughs> using the Matt's yeah, code 8343. Three. Wait, I said that wrong. The Galaxy I mean, Games, <laughs> but, but you saved thing, a bunch of money, thing, right? Honestly, the hardest oh, part yeah. is that the machines are so small that my big fat hands like I can't get my hands inside yeah. the machine to do it. But other than that, it's not hard to, to put them in there at all. So it's there you, anybody yeah. can do it, and it's it takes Five seriously. Your first one may take you an hour or so, but after that, you'll be a pro and you can do them. And now even Kevin from Candy Machines, he even has a kit that he'll sell you with it. And so you just take out the plexiglass and put the other piece in and it's it's plug and play. So it's pretty simple. So they've gotten sure. a lot better. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Next topic. I think this is a great topic of conversation. So Matt Barclay asks, Vegas versus the big one, Orlando. What are your thoughts? So ultimately, I'm sure none of us have been to IAPA, right? Mm -hmm. IAPA is what he's referring to. So IAPA is the International Amusement Association something. Um, it's about, you know, like arcade, but also like the amusement industry, amusement parks, all kinds yeah. of stuff like that. Uh, family entertainment centers where, you know, Vegas is more geared toward vending. Vendors. Vending. Yeah. And of course, amusement stuff as well, but on a, probably on a different scale. So it's yeah. kind of like comparing apples to oranges. The best thing we could probably say is go to both, right? Yeah, if you so, could. I could, I could drive to Orlando. So one of these years, we're going to make you guys fly to Orlando, <laughs> right? And that's what that's we're going to do. That's fine. I'm down worry. to go to Orlando sometime because I want to go to, like, the theme parks. Yeah, there's theme parks. There's the, Actually, Orlando has SeaWorld, you know, Disney, of course, Universal. Yeah, and Universal. there's a, a bunch of other things to do also, obviously, as well. But, uh, yeah, check out IAPA. Uh, lots of great stuff, and uh, a lot of times too, the different um, amusement companies like that make make rides for amusement parks will yeah. have all their different like new stuff out there and like all their prototype stuff. You can actually yeah. get rides that are going to be in amusement parks in a couple years there, which is really cool yeah. if you're into that. Which I'm into that. So hmm. one of the one of these years, we'll definitely make it to IAPA for sure. All right, up next, Captain Namco says good evening. Hey, Captain Namco, hey, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining us. Cool. Uh, Travis says, I did land a location for an old mechanical snack mart snack machine yesterday. Is that Are those like kind of those pull lever machines when you say mechanical machines? Like, that's what I think of when you say old mechanical I think that's where you put the green, you turn the little... Oh, it could be those too. Yeah. yeah, you know those black ones that were kind yeah. of flat, and you stuck the quarters in there, and you they turned it. They only take quarters. Yeah, they don't take yeah. dollars or anything like that. I think that's what he means. The only thing about those machines, though, is you can't change the price. They like you can only nope. take whatever the quarters insert is. So, don't. That's why you don't see a lot of those these days. Yeah, I don't know. And then he also says, bought the machine and bulk rack already filled with toys. For Ooh. 160 bucks. That's a good stuff. That's, that's a great deal right there. Very cool. That's cool. All right. Moonwater Minerals with another comment says, HHG, I used to be stationed in Monterey. I saw you maybe doing fairs there. I'm debating on getting orders to go back to learn <laughs> another language so I can check out your setup. <laughs> that's that's cool. Very that's cool. Funny. Yeah, we were talking about our videos because we're going to be doing the fairs and it's actually going to, we're going to start in May. We're going to go all the way through the end of the year doing yeah. those little mini arcades at the fairs and we're really excited about it. And so anywhere, if you're in Northern California, anywhere, we'll probably hopefully be at one of one of the fairs near you. You know, So not only can you go get, get yourself a corn dog and a lemon shake, but you can also get yourself an authentic yeah. Howard Hospitality Group autograph. 
That's right. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Uh, Anthony Hastings chiming in about Orlando in IAPA. He says, uh, Orlando is fantastic. It covers everything entertainment related. Vegas used to be massive, but bulk has gone down so much. The show is smaller. Mm. Although I was looking at the floor plan for the show. It's going to be huge anyway, right? Yeah. It's still going to be big. Well, because it's got the amusement expo part yeah, of it too. So, right. Yeah. So that, that's going to be part of it too. But uh, thanks for that. Thanks for that info. I've always wanted to go to IAPA. I know you were just there because it was just in January, right? Yeah. I think it was just in January. So Anthony, I know you were there though. So uh, yeah. hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you saw some cool stuff. All right, CC says thanks for all your inspiration, all, all your help, guys. You you all are in an inspiration. Thank you, appreciate Thank that. You. And then Brad Brown talking about wiring up credit card readers. He says you wire your CC readers, NIACs, or eports to your twelve volt on your power supply ground and the wire into the coin meter. Every time a coin or dollar bill goes in, you get a report of cash and credit card swipe amounts. Exactly. Good explanation. Yep. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Travis says just placed an order for over eight hundred dollars on candy machines two days ago, and I've already already received half my order. Nice. Did good. you use the uh, Howard Hospitality Group affiliate link? Hope you did. <laughs> but that just goes to show you how quick CandyMachines.com is when it comes to shipping their stuff. Yes. Um, I also got to give a shout out to Kevin. So yeah. I spoke to Kevin on the phone uh, last week. So, you know, I'm working on that happy house, that Neo Funds mini uh, regular regular size claw machine. Um, got the boards from Anthony Hastings. I did a quick test. Didn't change anything. So I think it might be oh. like a motor issue. So I talked to Kevin. Kevin shipped me out some motors. I haven't got to install them yet, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to make some videos on all that. But I just want to say thank you to Kevin. Kevin rocks. KDMachines.com yeah. is where it's at. And I had the motors in like just a couple days. It's like super fast, everything. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. That's why everybody asks us where to get our machines, and, yeah. and that's why we buy them from Candy Machines or from AZ Amusements because th of that yeah. reason right there, 100%. They're so, they're so wonderful. They're so yeah, wonderful. Yeah, I mean, if you For need sure. anything, they answer their phone, they answer the text. I was texting Kevin today because I was ordering those emojis, and I was having problems figuring out my cart, and I couldn't get it to work right. And he texted me back right away. And I was like, this is cool, man. Like, I mean, this yes. is customer service as best. So I placed my order. I got my emojis. So if you guys haven't seen them, there, there's that and that that 540 piece set on their website right now. I'm excited. My, my buddy was looking for a five, those those little octopuses. Those yeah. things are so hot in the claw machines. And they're you can't find them anymore. I can't seem to find yeah. them on Alibaba at all. So yeah. And then 30 cents a piece. You know, on Alibaba, those mixes and stuff like that. I know it's a mix, but like those octopuses are like seventy-five cents before ship. Yep. So that's a huge deal. Support CandyMachines.com. Support Howard Hospitality for sure. Group, of course. For sure. Yeah. Go and buy some. You'll love them. All right. Sweat Beam has a question. Actually, it's a two-part question. So looks like we've got two sections here of the question. First part is thoughts on going all cashless with claw machines, so no coin slot or DBA. Is it less maintenance and easier to manage? So let's take that one first. So what do you guys think of that? Uh, well, you wouldn't get any coin jams or bill acceptors. <laughs> uh, then you wouldn't get any bills right. or coins. So I think a lot of kids have a little bit of cash. And most of my sales are, well, I'm looking at my sales right now. It's about 50-50 right now. Yeah. I would try to keep all of it if yeah. you can. I would, yeah. say, I, I would say for sure, you know, give as many options to pay as possible, right? But if you wanted to make it more passive, you could not worry about the bill jams or anything. I guess it's theoretically possible, but you might lose a lot of sales. You'll yeah. need like, yeah. yeah. I think it also it. depends on the location, you know, yeah, where the machine's true. at. So like if you do it at, at a Mexican restaurant, for example, you want to have all three. Um, and mm -hmm. you're going to get more change and more dollar bills probably at a Mexican restaurant versus like if you did like our Logan's, we get a lot of credit card sales and a lot of dollar, you know, and a lot of cash sales. So and then the Boba shop is all cash and card. So and hardly any change was in there. So it just depends on the location of where it's at, I think. But it's, so, at the same time, like I think of my pizza restaurant, right? And I go there every Friday and I, I support that business because they support me. So when I go there, I always sit and watch. I, you know, watch people play the machine, right? And one thing I always notice is it's always kids saying, mom and dad, I want to go play the claw machine. All right, all right, here's a dollar. Here's, here's $2. Here's some quarters, whatever. But I've never once 
thought that a parent would say, here's my debit or credit card. Go play the machine. <laughs> right, you know what right. I mean? So yeah. think, think of it like that, right? Well, and Parent- I, think that the, I mean, coin, the, the coin max are so cheap. I mean, yeah. they're not going to cost you hardly anything to put them on the machine anyways. And, and the DBAs are a little pricey, but I, I don't know. I think having all three is the way to go. That's just my the personal opinion. Off really fast, though. Let's be honest. The claw machines make their money back. In, in like For sure. Yeah. Money. It's definitely worth having all. <laughs> do all three. Do but all three. you do. You do have those issues. You do yeah, have the they, DBA, they really like cool. people being quarters in the DBA and stuff. But we've had it twice now. So I mean, yeah. you know, we, so you do have that problem. But I mean, if you're checking them, at, I don't know. I really think you need to check them often too. Like people, I see all the time saying, "Why do you guys check your machines every week or every ten days or whatever?" And it's like it's because they get dirty, because they want to make sure they're working okay, because yeah. they look empty. <laughs> like you got to take care of your machines for sure. and you know i mean so i don't know i we're we well, have it's a, also very fun to check on too yeah exactly absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. yeah all right second part of the questions for extreme and this is back when you used to do videos going to dave and busters getting prizes for your route the question is what is your go-to easy ticket game at dave and busters well there, there's this one that pays out a thousand and you have to hit the it's the milk jug one like it, it's a skill based that's game. a tough game though yeah that's it a is tough a tough game. one but you, i've gotten it so many times where you got in five in a row it's just a repetitive thing and you just have to know how to softly bounce it off the wall into the jug but the easiest one the mindless one is the stackers game because mine pays out 200 tickets to the minor prize i heard other david busters that lowered it to 50 but mine was still at 200 tickets yeah. so you know i could play that all day and get like 30,000 tickets off $100 and get so much plush. But I haven't been there for a while, and I think inflation really killed uh, Dave & Buster's because they lowered the – the they raised the price of the tickets for each prize, and yeah. then they also like increased the cost of, for each machine yeah. we played. So I actually stopped into a Dave & Buster's this past weekend of all times. Uh, we were at a mall, and my, uh, my, I wanted to take my daughter through there and play a couple games. So we uh, we went in, and it just, yeah, it's just not the same. Like, you know, 50 bucks, which doesn't sound like a lot of money, but spending 50 bucks at the arcade used to go a lot further at Dave & Buster's mm-hmm. than it does now. It certainly does not. Yeah. So you're right. It doesn't go that long. You don't last long anymore. No. Yeah. But cool. All right. Um, Kevin's talking about Nyax. He says onboarding is going to be a little bit delayed. If you purchase from us, though, reach out to Kevin directly. He will work with the onboarding team every day because they have some contacts. So that's good to know. Okay. Ooh, that's oh. cool. Yeah, good to know. And then Susan says, this is awesome right here. My Nyax account was set up in four days. Wow. That, nice. So, so they maybe, have that's maybe, maybe, that. maybe that month or two thing is no longer a thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right there. That's great. I got I last year when I saw it set up, it took me three months. Yeah. It was awful. It was two months for us. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um let's see. Anthony does uh, does highlight that Candy Machines has a video on their on their YouTube. I'm guessing that's for probably setting up a credit card reader or I know they've got a lot of cool videos on their YouTube. So go check out CandyMachines.com's YouTube yeah. page too. They have one and we have one. Yeah, lots of good information on there for sure. Oh boy, we're cool. And then uh, Brad uh, agrees with us. Says, I would not totally go cashless. Why would you not want to get money in coins or bills? That would eliminate anyone without a credit or debit card. Yeah. yeah. You get silver yeah. quarters every once in a while too. What you got? That's a silver. 1964. That's a 1964. 1964. Silver. So yeah. But I got, I got them all. I've I've never found a silver a silver coin in any of my collections. I always, really? Oh, I, I mean, I always look, but I don't I don't like you know like inspect each one. But well, you know, they just sound two, different. Man, they they well, uh, my bank makes me put it on the rolls, so I have the thing yeah. that sorts it, and I can just yeah. look at this tube, and I can see by the I, edges. Yeah, I've, I've got the same not. thing. I've, I've got yeah. the same thing, but I've never I've never seen the silver edge in there. Come on, oh, show, never, show us your tube, Jonathan. Familiar. There you go. You're very familiar. <laughs> We're all right there. <laughs> as funny as that is. Good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Captain Namco says, I found an easier way to change the claw strength on telephone claw machines and toy soldiers and Showtime claw machines. There's a black switch on the back of the coin mechs. Flip it up, down is C1, and left is C2. Oh. Well, 
Uh, so they use the old dip switches on those ones? It sounds I don't I don't know. Um well, Captain Anko goes through all the those claw machines, uh the old yeah, ones he's and got... stuff. He knows a lot about it. He says, which is VR2 or VH2 knobs on the potentiometers? I'm not sure. We're about 30 minutes behind on comments, so I apologize that you know we're, we're behind, but uh, I'm not quite sure I understand the comment there. Uh, here's a funny one, though. <laughs> Kevin says, I think Galaxy needs to add his logo to his microphone. Yeah. Like, you, the, the logo oh, right here yeah. on the mic. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That would be perfect. So... Um, for those of you that don't know, yes, I just got a brand new logo. I hired a graphic designer, got a new logo for the whole for the channel and everything like that. Um, and I'm toying with some merch, right? So obviously we're not a very big channel right yet, um, but we're we're toying with the idea of some merch. I've actually um, sent uh, um, some sample requests out to some printing companies to get some shirts to see how they might look on a shirt. Because I don't know if the quality is going to be there. So we're going to test a couple places out. If things go well, maybe look for a merch campaign when we hit 10,000 subscribers. Who knows? Cool. Who knows? Um, maybe we'll try it out. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't I'll know. I'll buy one. Well, <laughs> you're going to be a, one of my testers. I'm actually going to send oh, you a shirt. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm expecting them later this week for the, Ooh, for the initial wanna, tests. Yeah. So as long as they're somewhat decent quality, I'm going to send you guys one. So nice. I'm going to wear it too. So Heck yes, yeah, you can wear it. it let me know what you I'll think. You know, um, and like I said, uh, if it, if it if it's successful, if it goes well, we'll we'll look at doing a merch campaign when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So oh, it's funny. I, nice. I was thinking about that. It, uh, I don't know if you guys ever want to do this, but this could be in the future. Yeah. But like the three of us. Kind of like yeah. a Triforce. The Triforce. I love Zelda. I love Zelda. So it'd be like Galaxy and Howard. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love it. That'd be cool. Yeah. We'll make, we'll make some 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 cool designs for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's something I can get like a mic cover or something and like that. Who knows? your devices every Wednesday. Yeah. 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 It'd be fun if you could get it on the, the little pop here, whatever you yes. call it. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. Not a bad idea. We'll see what we can come up with. That'd be, that would be cool, though. I agree. All right. Um, let's see here. <laughs> so we were talking earlier about, you know, buying uh, bulk Pokemon from PA Pokemon Pools. He says, you guys are making me blush and make me buy more Pokemon cards. Yes. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, all right. Here's another good one. Uh, T. Hayes says, temporary tattoos in a sticker machine equals dollar signs yeah for so us. i've got temporary tattoos in my flea market arcade location and you know what's funny i did the best ever in october i wonder if people are were buying them for like halloween costumes like maybe you know, you know making sleeves or whatever out of temporary tattoos that. october yeah, we really was really well then too for that. we buy those ice tattoos or whatever from candy machines yeah yeah they, yeah they, yeah they those really look good. really cool I definitely haven't got to try those yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about what else we can try next. All right. Looks like we got to jump ahead for a second here. Let's do, you know, let's jump ahead. Where is my scroller? There it is. All right. Moonwater Minerals with the super chat. Thanks, Moonwater Minerals. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. Oh my goodness. That's and then an look, look, look at it's a, it's a, one of those stickers. It's got Shiba dog dressed in traditional outfit, waving Japanese fans. How cool is that sticker right there? It is. That cool. is a good one. That I is like neat. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate that. That's yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Two you. weeks in a row. You're too kind. All right. Where was I? We're um, so far behind. <laughs> we are far behind, but that's okay. We well, always get caught up. We'll more catch up. More we can bust them yeah. out real quick. That's right. All right. Lightning so let's do, let's do a couple, uh, couple lightning rounds here. So Travis okay. says, Candy Machines... You're welcome. Thank you for providing the inventory and helping me build my business. I've already assembled the stand and 24-inch vending rack just waiting for the machines themselves to arrive. How cool. Congratulations on that. Awesome. Yeah. yeah that's cool. That Sweatbeam awesome. says, you're probably right. Would be missing out on some of the cash, but it seems like the advantage of not having to deal with coins and cash would outweigh the small percentage of people that don't have a card. All right. Yeah, good I, point, but yeah, I'd still, I'd still offer all options. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
where'd we go um hey brolicons here says good evening gentlemen hey brolicons hey, thanks hey, for joining hey. us appreciate you being here 34 minutes ago but yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> and then we are late but hero three says amelia ended dinner quick to be here yep moon she's, water minerals is waving hi says now. hi amelia Aww. Amelia, they're saying hi to you. <laughs> 30 minutes ago, but still. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Keith, has a, Keith has a good comment here. It says, strategies for getting laundromats seems like the owners are never there. That's true. The owners are almost never there. Yeah. But like, for example, from my laundromat location, um, there's a phone number on the office door. You can call for you know, That's assistance right, or help or to report a problem or if there's an emergency. And they do answer those calls, and, to, and even even if they don't, they usually have like a voicemail or something like that. Yep. Um, so kind of a funny story. Um, this was it this past weekend, maybe two weekends ago. I don't know if I shared this already, but the owner of the laundromat actually called me on a Saturday. Did I, did I share the story before? I don't think so. I don't, okay. So the the laundromat owner called me on a Saturday because I'm literally like five minutes from the laundromat. And I always told him, if you ever need help, call me because he's. Oh, yeah, you did. Did I I share the story? Yeah. All right. Well, then we'll move on. Basically, somebody had gotten like a towel trapped in the washer. Water was all over the floor. He couldn't get a hold of his cleaning crew. So he called me to go clean it up, basically. So I felt good that I was able to help him out and kind of share in good But that's how you keep your location. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's great. Help them out. He did tell me he's working on another laundromat in the area. So I'm going to get more machines and more locations in there, too. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I was able. I was glad I was able to do that for sure. All right. Um, CandyMachines.com says we re- we recommend the Nyax Touch with the multi-tiered pricing with bonus options for any crane. And what that means is the screen will show like a touch screen of different options you can order and pay mm-hmm. for, like one dollar, two dollar, five dollar, ten dollars, so on and so forth. Yeah. Cool. And you get you get extra plays if you spend more money. That's right. So like if yes. you get, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, Joe says he was talking with uh, a boba shop that said they wanted to put in their own machine. Maybe you have made a quick spread on your available machine soldier. Just a thought. Oh, so what what he was saying was, did you ever offer to maybe sell a machine to a location that wanted to do their own stuff like that? Oh, no, we didn't. Because, I mean, he kind of he felt really bad because when you talk, cause we, we basically called to ask if it was still okay to bring the machine. Cause he had told us, call me next week and you can bring it in or whatever. And so when we called him, he was like, I'm so sorry, Amelia. Like he was very nice on the phone. And he's like, I had no idea she had this planned. And I guess she'd already been looking at him and pick something out or something. He said, so we didn't bother, but I see what he's saying. But even, you know, even then, I mean, I don't know how much he'd make. And it just seems like it might just kind of be a pain to, to deal with all that you know what i mean yeah, i don't know sure. but the guy was super nice but he just she she had already thought of it i guess i, I think she's doing like a whole little section you know just arcade games yeah i mean you can't blame them if i if yeah. i had a restaurant or something i would do my own games too right oh I mean, for sure yeah. yeah absolutely yeah all right next comment comes from travis says i noticed around me the only bulk machines i see that actually work and get serviced are single head gumball machines all the nice looking bulk racks have been out of order for months then he says, seeing about taking over those locations. That's exactly what I was going to suggest. Yep. Exactly. Maybe, you know, do, do those bulk racks have a phone number on them? Call them. Yeah. Now's your chance. You know? Now, yeah. I would say, hey, uh, you know, I, I noticed your machines have been out of order for a while. They haven't been serviced. They're, they're out of stock. Are you interested in selling the location? You know, that's yeah. a great way to get in. And then you've already got the the hard parts already done. You've already got the location at that part. Mm-hmm. And worst comes to worst, they just say no. <clears throat> so not a big deal. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, Anthony says, we just signed a good deal for a flat 35% and they are going to let me pay off of Nyax data. If it works, I'm putting in a Jurassic Park, hopefully to a full arcade. Oh, Not cool. sure. Not sure exactly what that means. But also asking, what's Kimberly's YouTube channel? Uh, the Halo Gaming, if you're still here, do you want to post that in the comments? Just for anyone that wants to go check it out. I know you said, I think you said there's no videos there yet. But let us know in the comments what the actual channel name is. So we can go subscribe. So that way when there are videos there, we can go check those out. Yeah, there he says. He says, no videos yet. But we're working on making videos and getting videos made. Cool. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. 
All right, Kevin Stillwell joins us. Says good evening, guys. Vegas is hey. getting closer. Hey. Yeah, so <laughs> we're excited. I think, I think we're we're under we're under the fifty day mark. I think it's like forty something at this point. Uh, and the only reason why I know that is because Quick Play reached out to me the other day and said like forty some days left until we go. So looking forward to that. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so awesome. All right, so we're just a little bit over halfway through the live stream. We're way behind on the comments, but now's a good time to talk about the contest. Go ahead, David. Oh. You're up, David. Okay. Yeah, we better have me do it because I'm so laggy. <laughs> <laughs> we never know if I'll drop. <laughs> so we have, we have the great CandyMachines.com giving away a free mini claw machine filled with toys, free shipping, and I believe the claw machine of your choice, so there's different uh, designs you can pick. I like the under the, the under the sea design because it's beautiful, and I have that one. But basically, the requirements of getting this entered into this contest of winning this mini claw machine is just by subscribing to our three channels, Galaxy Games 843, Howard Hospitality Group, and myself. Make sure you've done that. And actually, in the description of this very much live stream that we're doing is the link where you can click on and fill out the form at candymachines.com. That's the fourth thing you need to do. Just fill that out. It takes like a minute. And then join our Discord. That's all you have to do. And if you want more entries in this drawing, because we, we look at your comments down below. If you comment down below in any of our videos, that's an entry and an added chance for yourself to win that mini uh, super mini claw machine. And we also have even Quick Play helping us out and supporting this. So really, really cool. And we're so grateful for this. So this will be given away live on stream in March, at the end of March at the uh, convention. And we can't wait. We're all meeting up together and we're going to be doing it together. So it's pretty exciting. Did I miss anything? I don't nope. think so. I think you're good. Yeah. And and also candymachines.com is having so many sales for products. So if you go on there, support their uh, support their site, support Howard Hospitality Group. In the description is his affiliate link and order all the plush you ever need because you can stock up on this and save up and, and make, save a lot of money and make a lot of extra cash. Yeah, we bought sure. a bunch of emojis today for sure. I mean, that's a great yeah. deal. So love it. All right, let's get back to the comments. Insert coin vending says, Do you guys go into stores with no soliciting signs? I yeah. would. I don't we're not that. remember, we're not selling anything, we're offering a service. Yeah. We're offering to give them money most of the time, right? So, <laughs> yeah, the so some I mean, people are. Some people are. Amelia's not, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh most of the time, yeah, we would we would offer a commission and where we're giving them money and not selling anything. So I would say that's not soliciting. We're offering a service or offering to give them a profit share rather than sell them something. So yeah, I, I would I've go never there. had a place get mad at me for offering yeah. a service like this. Just go in there and say, do you have any need for vending services? It's not, I'm not selling anything. I'm seeing if you have any need for vending services. That's just a simple I question highly, to ask. I highly recommend you make a flyer too because yeah. that the other day it paid off for us we went to a place quite a while ago and they had told us well we will think about it and we went back another time and asked them again and then hadn't heard from them for at least a month or two and and they just called and said hey we just found your flyer and we were thinking about you guys and you know, would, you, would you want to come look at where to put one nice. so have a flyer because they'll keep it you know what i mean a lot of times or put it up on a board or something and then maybe it might bring you business later on or they might know somebody that might want something and have your flyer and, you know give it to them or something yep, so flyers sure. help a lot so make something they can keep besides a business card because those are great and all but a lot of people just toss those so i think that the flyer is even cooler you know for sure all right um pedro joins us he says sub guys hey pedro hey. welcome hey. back thanks for joining us appreciate you being here and then here's a good question. So uh, I'm, I may say this wrong, but it, it's Pashi of Ending. It says, what percent of your sales are credit cards versus cash or coin? And I think that answer is going to be different for every location, right? Yep. So like yep. my laundromat, it's my credit card sales, probably five, maybe 10% at the most. But like my truck accessory shop, probably 80 to 90% of my sales are done through credit cards. So it depends yep. on the location, honestly. And that goes with full line and cost. I mean, yeah. like our full line, we have one one um, uh, dealership that all they use is cards and we'll, we'll go in there collect and it's like $3 in there. And the rest of it was credit card sales, was like $200 for the week. And it's just all credit card sales. So, you know, and then the same with, I told you the Boba shop, same thing. You know, they a lot of the kids like to use their Apple Pay or 
or credit cards versus ca- you know versus coins. So it just depends. Yeah. But we'll go to like grocery outlet, and there'll be tons of change. So it just depends on where you go. I think. For sure. All right, Kevin's got some information for us uh, regarding the Cantaloupe USA Tech and their pulse ah. cable for old devices. So he says they've told him that they're working on a pulse cable for the touch device. But even if they do, they are just now, and then there's a continuation here, says catching up to what Niax has been doing for four years. So yeah. take that for what it is. Yeah. He's right. For sure. All right, but it's nice about... What's that now? It's going to be nice to have competition for Niax. So. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, up next, David says, IAPA, we were talking about IAPA earlier, says it's better for entertainment. Uh, they're in the party rental space, so mm. maybe not so much vending or amusement vending, but yeah. uh, that is just one piece of IAPA, basically. So that's, that's good to know. And hey, look who's here. Go for it, vending. Hey, Matt. Yeah, Matt's here. Speaking of Niax, I'm moving and I will be unavailable for one to two weeks. Glad to help when I'm situated again. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually talked area, to Matt this week. Know, help you move. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I actually reached out to Matt on the Discord this week, and I think he thought I had a question, like a Niax question. I was like, no, nah, man, I just wanted to say hi. I haven't talked to you. <laughs> He's <laughs> probably, what do you need? That's so awesome. <laughs> we need to find some way to raise, to do a fundraiser for me. Yeah, we've been talking so about that. I sure. told him to set up something, and we would promote the heck out of it for heck him. Because yeah. he, yeah. he deserves a lot of, he spent, he I know, I know one guy, he spent, um, two straight full days with trying to get his stuff working. So, I mean, it's a lot of time and effort he's put in for sure. to help people. Free. Cool. All right. Uh, Anthony Hastings says, I love going to IAPA. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I definitely, we definitely got to go check it out one of these years because it looks awesome. In, in the videos I've seen, it looks really yeah. cool. So we'll definitely, definitely have to make that a, make that a, a trip sometime. Um, and then David's asking you guys, how are those card readers going on the mini claws? Do you have any pros or cons? I, um, I'd say if you don't have them, you're dumb at this point. That's my opinion. I, I'm, <laughs> so far behind. I'm upgrading. Eventually, I'm going to have nothing but these card readers. And, and I, so. I can't, I could never go back to not having them again because right. I mean, it's, it's saved us so much money knowing that they weren't turned on or they weren't working or we weren't receiving cash or whatever plus we can look at them and, and, and amelia's got the little app on her phone now and she's always checking it like all the time just to see how they're doing you gave her the app yeah so <laughs> she's got the app so she's always checking on her machines and stuff and she's always telling me how they're doing and it's it's addicting you know what i mean it's addicting to see how you're how they're doing and when they're popular when they're not popular and and i i mean it's saved us money having it so i think that you gotta you know not as many people nowadays carry cash as they used to. So to not have them, I think is just, I mean, I like to know what's going on with, you have a, you have a $1,500 investment sitting somewhere that you don't know what it's doing and to be able to go and see exactly what it's doing at any time. I mean, that's priceless to me, you know, like that's yeah. like that's, throughout the stream, I've been watching my income go up uh, just from my five locations. So yeah. Yeah. we're up to fifty nine dollars. Well, I started the stream at forty five dollars, so I've earned fourteen bucks just doing the stream from my five locations. Well, we moved from one location because it was a Mexican restaurant that we had. It was one of our first, very first locations, and we moved out of that location because they would unplug the they would unplug it and they wouldn't plug it back in. They had their daughter was the only one that would plug it in, and she only worked three days a week. <laughs> And so, yeah. you know, we, we go there and there wasn't any money in it and we can, you know, we, and so then we started watching it a little more closely and then we could see that it was off all the time. And so we moved it to another location, which was twice as busy and it's doing really good now, but we, you know, we were losing money having it there. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I think that it's worth it hundred percent. So, and use Matt's code. Galaxy game. <laughs> yeah, eight four three Galaxy game. Save some money though. That's the that's Seriously, the big thing. We're gonna save thing. money. Yeah, I mean, you save a lot. Like I've saved what was it? Six six uh I ordered six of them. I think I, I saved like uh forty, fifty dollars a piece. So that's like three hundred dollars yeah. I saved. Yeah, it's a bunch of money. Dollars it's a bunch of money off your bill. That's yeah. that's that's the real key. That's why like I agreed to that whole that whole package anyway, so you could save money. Yeah. All right. Um, Kevin's given us some more information about IAPA and or in Vegas actually compared to IAPA. He says Vegas has mostly become amusement with a small section for bulk vending. 
IAPA is larger, mostly amusement, but you won't see the bulk suppliers there. Oh. So good to know. Um, I think each has their, their place, so definitely cool. I'm so glad to be able to check at least one of them out this year. Mm-hmm. And then for some reason, I thought IAPA was in January, but what Twitty Productions is saying is that IAPA is in November every year. So maybe I'm thinking of oh. the Consumer Electronics Showcase in January, CES. I don't know. There's a lot maybe. of play. There's a lot of things going on. Anyway, IAPA is in November every year, he says. Literally has something for everyone. Claw machines, amusement rides, food vendors. I don't know. You didn't say there was food vendors there. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Uh, Randy says, go for it vending. Good, good luck on your move. Says going to miss you, but he says he'll be back in a week or two, so don't worry about that. It's all good. Yeah. And then Anthony asking a question to Howard Hospitality Group says there's a couple I saw on YouTube doing fairs in Florida. They seem to do well. Yeah, I guess that's e- ET, ET vending. vending. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're actually oh, I... they're in high school, so they're like 16 yeah. and 18, I think. Um, and I've actually been talking right. to them, and they've helped me a lot. And they're they're great, and they've had a lot of great ideas and a lot of. A lot of mistakes they made community. and they're in the discord. So if you have questions for them, like they, you know, they'll answer them and they've helped me a lot, a lot because we really didn't know what we wanted to do or how we wanted to do it. And so I saw a lot of stuff on their videos. I had questions about, and I sent them messages. So I'm telling you, if you don't belong to discord, then you're missing out for sure. Cause everybody's in there. So join for sure. <laughs> All right. Some more candy machines.com questions. Jawbone asks, what is Kevin's extension when you call? 101. <laughs> right? Kevin says 101. But if you DM him on the Discord, he'll give you a cell phone number. Man, that is service right there. Yep. <laughs> that is service right there. Very cool. Um, so uh, in response to our, our our comments earlier, Sweatbeam says, ha ha, coin slot and DBA, it is. Good choice. Yep. Good choice. Yep. For sure. Uh, David says, yeah, never li- limit any money source. Take every form of currency you possibly can. Yeah. Uh, Anthony does say there is an operator in New York that's only doing credit cards, but he has tight machines and rarely services. So I'm guessing oh. his, his, uh, his win play to win ratio is probably pretty high. Yep. And therefore he just shows up yeah. every once in a while and restocks the machine, I guess. Yeah. Talk about passive income. Yeah. Yeah. Right? All right. Uh, let's see here. But as bad as machines look like poop, though, too. I bet. They're yeah, they're, they're definitely, definitely not going to be cleaned. Yeah, that's for sure. Someone thought was it you, Howard, that showed us the uh, Mighty Mouse? Someone had a Mighty Mouse that you took a picture of. Yeah, there was a there was a picture or a video of somebody posted on Facebook, and it was somebody collecting from one of the Mighty Mouse ones, and it was just like the whole front of it was just completely dirty and filthy and gross. And I'm like. How could you ever have your machine like look like that? Like people touch it, you know, and especially since COVID just happened and everything, yeah. I just don't think that people would want to play your machine if it looked that dirty, you know, but yeah. maybe kids don't people, care. I don't know. Yeah. For kids sure. don't care. I mean, uh, who was it? Cosmic vending or, or um, someone else. They post a video of the kid, like kissing the glass or something like that. <laughs> I, know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm and always really, so like, there's nose prints on her machine. I'm always there. cleaning nose prints off my, off yeah. my games, especially at the flea amazing. market. I know. The flea market. I swear those kids just like, mm-hmm. like push their face up against the machines or like if they're trying to line up on the side, they got their face smashed against oh, the machine. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what I always run into. So what I've what I found is if you go to Walmart, you can actually get like a wipe pack, but they're for glass wipes. Like you can that you can keep in your car. That that's really been beneficial for the for like, you know, always having something like that there to wipe your machines down for the glass. Yeah. I know I know I know Jonathan, you use the water uh rubbing alcohol mix. Yeah. But sometimes you don't have all that you know, the spray bottle and the rag with you. That's true. You know, we so forgot so. it a few times. I had to use my sleeve, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the class. right? I so yeah, it. go yeah. go in the uh, auto detailing section of Walmart. They have um, glass cleaning wipes. They come in like a little soft pack, almost like baby wipes. Yeah, like travel wipes. Smart. Yeah, it works out well. Guys, my my claw machines just got another ten dollars. I'm at sixty nine. Cha ching! <laughs> in one right? day, that's awesome. In one day between five locations, so that's awesome. <laughs> I, so badly, $10. I I want to set up notifications on in my Nyax app that every time a sale comes through, I get that cha-ching sound, you know, but yeah. I would imagine that would get annoying real quick. Like off the up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, what else we got here? So um, Matt Barclay says, "Told I, today I told my six-year-old to put in two quarters, and her first imp- interpretation was to put the two quarters in side by side at once. Stopped oh, her before no. coin jam. <laughs> 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 there you go. So you stopped her before the coin jam. Mm-hmm. Yes. That yeah. Um, that, that's one thing. I've seen many coin jams in my machines where there's like they're jammed in side by side in the coin bag or into the coin yeah. slot. And you almost so need like excited. a pocket knife to get them out. I know they're the worst. You're like, come on, you dig yeah. them out for sure. All right, uh, Black Girl says, "Here comes Johnny. Come lately. Hey, welcome, Black Girl. Thanks for joining us hey. again. Hey. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for that." So also says, "I'll have to watch the playback." So she must have been in and out. So hope you're enjoying the playback when you get to watch that. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us. And um. I'm not sure the name, Sorelli, Sorelli. I'm going to say Sorelli. It's probably wrong. Um, Trade says, good evening, guys. Are the machines tax deductible as well, or is it just expenses? So, like, when I purchase a machine, I I label that as an expense. There's not really a tax deduction that I can think of. Yeah. Um, It's just just an expense. Yeah. So, no tax deductions for that. Now, maybe if if you were donating a machine to a charity or something maybe that could be a tax deduction or a school or well yeah right but he's like school for the record i'm not not donating my machine to the school we're loaning it to the school if 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 things don't go well with it at the school then we'll put it out on location somewhere but for now it's going to the school to to live and motivate children so hopefully make the teacher's jobs a little bit easier we'll see we are taking it to to the school tomorrow we uh we loaded it up full of prizes um our 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 palmetto gaming the uh the game store where we have our machines they donated some plush so big shout out to palmetto gaming in somerville That's south cool. carolina uh, they donated some some really cool licensed mario and nintendo and animal crossing plush for the machine nice. so those kids are going to go nuts over that it's a good cause man it's really yeah, cool it's a great sure. idea i we mean also, wife was really smart with that one i mean yeah, that's just for sure I mean, what, what better treat than i mean like kids like to win stuff at school but yeah. how much cooler is it that they get to win it out of a claw machine i mean that's just and really cool you know the, it, it's the claw is strictly skill based there's no right. there's no one in six or anything like that on the claw on the school claw um we do have it to, to take tokens and we gave a big bag of tokens we're giving a big bag of tokens to the principal to figure out i think what they want to do they have a, a system where they give out these uh they call them b bucks right so yeah. kids can earn b yeah, bucks those at our schools too, yeah. and then they're going to have the tokens in the b buck store so it's going to take two tokens to play a game so they can cash in their b bucks for tokens to play the claw machine and so on and so forth so that's how that's that awesome. all that's going to work very cool um, man i did also order a bunch of knobby balls because those are cheap to throw in there yeah. too and some some other like kind of plush stuff too so we're getting we're getting them started and then from there the school is going to supply the prizes for the machine too Nice. So we just we just got some donations and we we also donated some stuff from our vending company, so it's going to be a, a good time for sure. So it should go up to the school tomorrow. Like so during we'll the um, like in our town, I don't know what it's like in your area, but like during parades and stuff, like we have a couple of parades a year here, yeah, and like yeah. a lot of the businesses will get those like blow up basketballs or the blow up footballs or yeah, and they'll throw them out, you know, like maybe With their that's names on them, like. like like yeah, yeah, with their products, names on yeah. them. Like maybe that's something they could donate, you know, like a hundred of them or something to the school. And then, they oh, yeah, them, you know, I don't know, just an idea. But we have a lot of that around during the during the parades that they throw oh, them sure. out during the parades. And they'll that's do for I never even thought of that. Yeah, maybe, stuff like maybe, that. maybe I'll make some Galaxy Games 843 promotion. There you go. And throw them out at the parades, right? If you like this. <laughs> no you're good you're good man you're good okay okay i'm just making sure <laughs> all right been... um so we're we're only we're, we've only got 30 minutes left and we are 30 minutes behind on the comments so we're going to okay, apologize okay. in advance right now if we miss your comment tonight we apologize we're going to try and get through as many comments as, as possible but if we don't get to your comment i want to apologize right now because we're still going to yeah. talk about um some some insurance deals we may have for you mm-hmm. as well as one more reminder about the mini claw machine contest giveaway so let's do a couple lightning round comments and then we'll okay. talk about insurance uh let's see here all right uh here's a good question so i did a short today where i kind of featured um an older video where i swapped out the pokeball vending machine in the game store so yeah. anthony says hey galaxy games how come you put a newer machine in the game store 
what was wrong with the other one? So basically, um, I use two inch capsule bulk vending machines for the Pokeballs in the game store and basically at any location. And the, the Pokeballs are just a little bit smaller than the two inch capsules that you would normally use. So the machine I initially had them in, the springs were off just a, just a hair that allow would sometimes allow more than one Pokeball to get down in the wheel that would vend the prizes. And it was jamming up and it was breaking, like the Pokeballs were popping open because there was extra pressure and it would squeeze them and pop them open and, and that would jam the machine. And then sometimes people would not get anything when they would, when they would put quarters in and vent. So rather than trying to fix that machine there on location, I just brought in another machine I had ready to go, took it there, took the other you know, machine that needed some work back to the shop, fixed it. Now that machine is at our, our flea market arcade. So I just did some moving around so I didn't have to fix it on location. So that's why I did that. I like yes. doing that too. Whenever I have maintenance and I have a spare machine. Yeah. Just, just, just bring, it a, bring your working <laughs> machine in, drop it off, and then you can, you can worry about fixing the machine that has issues back at your shop or whatever you want to do for sure i know yeah because like i don't know this is maybe inappropriate but like you ever have like plumber's cracker or something like that when you bend over and it's like you don't want to do that in public no definitely not okay <laughs> uh speaking of that adam gale says it's going to be a great time in vegas yes we're looking forward to it uh very much so let's see what else we got here um Jawbone uh, asking a question to Moonwater Minerals says, how many machines do you have set up for the fair or at fairs? And then Moonwater Minerals says, I have a trailer full of crystals, so I usually supplement with one mini claw filled with crystals, as well as a gumball machine with one inch pods and also filled with crystals. Yeah, so those one inch capsules, that's pretty cool. All right, what else we got here? Um, Dylan, says, said we, Dylan said we skipped his comment. Said he waited 20 minutes for his comment, and his comment was the best way to find locations. That's what he wants to know. So let's talk about that then. I I, I did not see that comment. I apologize. Yeah, it was right. It, I think you missed it because it was kind of stuck between two things that were kind of hard to see. I just went back and gotcha. looked because I was All like, right. I don't so, want to miss so, it. So let's address that. Let's talk okay. about that real quick here. So how do you find your locations, David? Fast, quick, and quick. Oh, okay. Well, I, I use Google Maps, and then and, uh, I find a route that I want to go because I want to see multiple locations, and I mm -hmm. click the images. And I see the inside of the stores, and then I drive over there, and I I go in there physically, find a place where I can put my claw machine by a power source, and then I'm like, is the owner there? And I talk to them, and give them my spill, and then I just go through that whole route I do, and I look for keywords such as restaurants, uh, boba, uh, buffet, Mexican food, just kind of make that idea as you build your route. And I have a right. video on that, and it helps me out a lot. And then you just sometimes you just want to drive around because there's a lot of new buildings being built, at least in Arizona. We're, we're expanding all the time. So, yeah, that's how I find my locations. And that's what we do, too. So, like, we kind of chose a, a theme, you know, or an area of town that we want to hit. And so I use Google Maps also. And sometimes I'll even, like, stick myself, you know, like, you put the little person down and just stick yourself yeah. in the parking lot and you can look around and see what's in that little complex and yeah. stuff. Sure. And we do that sometimes too. So then we'll make a list and then we'll go hit those and we'll go have lunch. So we'll make kind of like a half day out of it. And Amelia does it all herself. She has a flyer that we made her and she goes in and she asks, she always asks for the owner. If they're not there, she asks when they're going to be back. And um, we come back when they say they're going to be back. Um, and sometimes you'll get like maybe the owner's daughter or something like that that she can talk to and tell them what. And then they'll say, oh, I'll make sure they'll get this. And then you leave a flyer. But yeah. otherwise, we try to come back when they're there. And you just you learn. You just learn what to say. And it takes time. And it, and you, But you get good at it after a little while. But it may take 15 tries to get it For right. Sure. But you'll get it. You know, you'll get yeah. it. I, I like but, to just go find locations that I think could use vending services. Or, I, you know, I look around to see if there's already some type of machine there. But what I yeah. usually just say is, you know, I'm, I like to keep it casual. I say, hey, have you guys ever thought about having a vending machine? Do you need vending services? You know, yeah. you know kind of talk about the benefits of why it would be good for them. For their customers or for their employees, things like that. That's what that's so, what I focus on. So like Dylan, now, Dylan, sorry, sorry, we missed your comment. Though. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologize and for that. Um, Sam, because he wants to expand, so he really wants to have more yeah. of his full line vending machines. So we're going to start scouting for those. And there you go. We live in a small farming community, so there's a lot of warehouses and stuff around here that we're going to hit. That's good stuff the next, right there. Yeah, and so we're going to try to hit those and stuff. 
but um but the claw machine she usually hits the restaurants and the and that kind of thing but yeah. we have to go out of town for all the most of our locations where a lot of people live in a city where you know it's a little easier but we we actually have to leave where we live to go find new locations so for sure we make a day out of it so sorry that's, Dylan. and that's always fun too to get everyone involved to go like you know try a new place for lunch and then go yeah. scouting or you know things like that for sure Good stuff. All right. Well, Dylan, again, I apologize that we missed your comment, yeah. but glad we were able to address it. Hey, Matt, Galaxy Games. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next, Keith says, I have a mini claw ready to go, but I'm waiting for Nyax onboarding to go through. Should I wait or should I put it on location? I say put it on location. I say yeah. so too. You know, install, you all... in, install the Nyax credit card reader, but don't uh, don't connect it, right? So so make it so once it's activated, ready to go, you sh- you're able to go to the location and then, like connect the three wires or whatever. Um like I know, like when I got my uh, machine at the laundromat, I actually bought it from another vendor, who had it already had the Nyx credit card reader on it, but it was still registered to them. So yeah. while I was going through the transfer process, I unplugged, I bypassed the Nyx credit card reader, so yep. it wasn't even powered up on the machine. And then once the transfer went through, then I went and plugged it in, because I didn't want any of those sales going back to the the previous vendor. Right. You know, yep, for sure. Yeah, but I didn't. I, sure. Yeah, I didn't want to miss out on sales. Yeah, and if you don't feel comfortable unplugging it, you can also contact Nyx and they can put on cash only. So yeah, it'll basically yeah. just say cash only on yep. it. And so then that way they, they can't even make transactions even if they wanted to. For sure. But they can do that for it too, as long as you have the, the number of the machine. So. For sure. All right. All right. So we're getting a little bit caught up. That's good. So we're only about 15 minutes behind now. So that's a good thing I- here. So Jawbone says, I'm hoping to get up enough money to order three super minis from Kevin around the 1st of March. Yeah. yeah. Use the code. Use or, the code. The link is in the description. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Please. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Three. Yeah. That'd be great Thank for you. me. Yeah. Um, one at a time, too. Make it hard, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. It supports Howard even more, actually. Yep. And then Moonwater Mineral says, I'd love a super mini. I'm already planning on with, with which crystals I'd put in as the big prize. Very cool. So, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll, maybe you'll win the contest. Yeah. That'd be cool. I would love I to mean, have some I mean, Moonwater Water Minerals is commenting all the time. Oh, I yeah. know. I know, right? There are some so, dedicated viewers. That there's she's definitely got. Some, some dedicated oh. commenters out there, right? For sure. For sure. I, would see, I would see Moonwater Minerals. Um, a black girl. I always see a lot of comments from her. Uh, mm-hmm. She says, "Will cash always be king?" I see a lot of comments from her all the time. Um, that's a great question. Though. Will cash always be king? It's, it's some of my location. It certainly is not, right? Yeah. My uh, my truck accessory shop, like I said, eighty to ninety percent of the sales go through the credit card readers there. It, it, I always feel so funny when I pull the money out of the out of the, the dollar bill acceptors in those videos because it's like <laughs> it's like seven or eight dollars. You know what I mean? Well, I've gotten comments too, where somebody, I think somebody was just being smart and funny, but they're like, yeah, sure. Maybe you had that much credit card sales. Cause like, you know, cause it was a big amount. Yeah. And so, and we, cause we said how much the total was for the week or it was this huge amount, but we only pulled out like that much cash, but it was cause it was all credit cards. You know, that's just what was there. So yeah, yeah it, it does. It makes a difference for sure. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. All right. Next comment comes in from Adam. He says, is it me or does it seem like all the YouTube vending machine channels are blowing up? I hope so. We've we've slowed down a little bit. (laughs) Yeah. I feel, I feel like we're on, we're on the back end of it. I think, I think like, like, I think the three of us are kind of late to the party. Mm -hmm. So I think before COVID, um, the YouTube vending channels were a lot bigger, a lot more popular. Like, so there were some that I used to watch that aren't really around anymore. Of course, there was AFC Vending, right? The Polar yep. Bear. Remember Jamie? Learned him a lot Jamie, from him. Jamie yep. Farnsworth. So I used to watch all his videos. Yep. Um, so he's not around anymore, but he was a pretty big channel. Um, Jaime Abanez is still still around. He he obviously is a very big channel mm-hmm. with over half a million subscribers. So he's doing mm. well. Um, you know, back in the day, I used to watch Dominic Barbado and Vending Business Solutions. He's a pretty good sized channel. And then Quick Play, obviously, back when I was, you know, back at that time, Quick Play was, you know, under 5,000 subs. So they, they've come such a long way. Yeah. Because they now just passed 300,000 subscribers this week. So that's a really cool thing. Um, Claw but, Kicker. Uh, Claw, Claw Kicker, Kicker obviously. Yeah, Claw mm-hmm. Kicker was up to 2 million for a little while there. Yeah. It dropped a little bit. But 
But um, yeah, so those were like all the channels that I used to watch back in the day, and I feel like those channels were so well, much bigger. Yours. I watched your I watched yours in the beginning. Well, That's how we learned a lot of our our. I I, I don't consider myself on, on that level or in that league oh, yet. Huh? You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm there yet. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> but galaxy, you'll be one tenth away from a button. A <laughs> one tenth away from a silver play button. Yes. I well, quite honestly though, like when I started making these videos, it was just a, like a fun thing to do. I was already you know doing vending machines because I because I watched you know. Oh, Chrome vending was another one. You you guys remember Chrome vending? Never watched. Did you watch Chrome vending? Mm. Mike G. I used to watch Chrome vending a lot too, and like those were the guys that got me into vending and got me into like this whole thing. Like, so long story short, I I worked for the same company for over like twenty years, and that's one that's one of the reasons why I moved from Ohio to South Carolina. They transferred me, and then they closed because they closed our Ohio location, transferred me to South Carolina, and then they closed our South Carolina location. So it was like that time I was like, you know, I never want to rely on one income anymore. So that's why I got into vending. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so that's how I got in and how the different channels, but you know, I, I, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of vending channels that like are, aren't like blowing up like those other channels did back in the day. And hopefully, hopefully we're, there's going to be a, be a resurgence, but I really think, I think COVID or the whole pandemic thing, kind of like put the brakes on a lot of those channels i don't know yeah mm. don't we're know. slowly moving up but it's taking us a while we're, we're you know we're just trying to get to a thousand subscribers so yeah. we're, we're taking we're gonna us get a there. while yeah how, how many are how many are you up to 580 yeah. i think like so that. so that means so that means if you've entered the contest you have a one in 580 chance right now yep. to win that mini that super mini claw machine mm-hmm. so keep that in mind that's pretty good odds compared to like the lottery you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, so I, I hope our channels all blow up. Uh, I really think Vegas is going to be a milestone for all of us. Yeah. I think uh, that's going to get a lot of um, cool things because not only are we going to get to work together, but we're going to get to work with some of those other larger channels as well, like Jaime Amenez and Dominic yeah. Barbado and Quick Play and whatnot. So hopefully we can do some cool collaborations and we all just get bigger for sure. All right. Uh, 720 Vending also says <laughs> he's working hard to get his his channel bigger too. Nice. He had a good week, over 40 subs that, uh, this week for 720 Vending, that's so that's awesome. a good thing. For sure. Um, David says, I'm going to be buying my first Super Mini in a week or two. Any discount codes, person to talk to, etc. please thank you. So depending on where you go, candymachines.com is a great place. There's yep. a Use our link, link in the and description. Then use the, the Discord code. Use and the code, the code the code discord at checkout will also mm-hmm. take some money off of your bill too. So yeah, there's your discount code. Now. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff. Yeah. For sure. All right. Oh, uh, what else we got here? Oh, uh, let's see. Reddit Topia 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 official says, hello everyone. I have a question. Have the prices of items and products inflate over the past months? And has that impacted your business flow? Yes, prices <laughs> have gone up, uh, yeah. especially in full line vending, right? So the cost yeah. of chocolate has gone up. The cost of soda has gone up. Um, I haven't really adjusted my prices to reflect that. So what ultimately what it's done is eaten into my profits. I bought so, a box of peanut M&Ms last night for almost $42, I think is what it was on Sam's. Forty one ninety nine. 99 yep. So yeah, stupid. so I did film some more shopping footage this week. And you'll see all those prices in my video because I've, I've highlighted some of those prices. I had the Ray-Ban glasses on filming <laughs> in my, uh, my my shopping trip. And so Very cool. I have a lot of fun making those videos. I, I really yeah. do. And I like to show kind of like, like like what the prices are in my area and so you can see how they are compared to your area. But also like the different things that, you know, my locations or my, my stores sell. And I like to, you know, see the comments of people like, oh, you should try those in your machines. Or I see that over there. Try that or something like that. It's been really cool. It's been really, I think really we're beneficial. really lucky that we raised our prices before the end of the year last yeah, year. Yeah, you certainly were. Yeah, because we were really, I don't know why. I think I think it was my wife was like, you need to raise your prices like before this gets crazier. Well, she, and uh, she had the did. hindsight. 2020 she was really smart because sure. she had the, yeah, she had the, the foresight to be like, you know, we're going to, you're going to run into price hikes pretty quick here and so it did and luckily we're fine 
now. But we're running 175 for candy and and chips and and you know dollar 25 for a can of soda and you know our our, our energy drinks are 225 yeah. to to three bucks depending on what you're getting and so we're we got really lucky we raised it and they're doing okay now so if you haven't raised your prices you better do it soon yeah. no, you know it's going to be every, time for sure it's yeah going to be time i'm sure that'll make a fun video too we'll see how how it affects everything too so yeah i'm sure that'll be coming soon all right moon water mineral says which one of you three could benefit the most from some more watch time. We I, knew, I knew John yeah. Van was going to go up. Um, <laughs> says, I have a marathon coming up. Nice. So definitely um, Howard Hospitality Group needs those that watch time. Yes. Also, 720 Vending says, could also use some watch time. <laughs> Both of them are kind of in the same, the same boat right now, right? Yeah. Just past 500 subs. Your watch time is probably almost halfway there too, right? About that, no. about halfway. No, not our watch time. Our watch time, we got a ways to go. I think we're only at a thousand. Oh, okay. We so you're you're, you're, ah. 20, you're a quarter of the way there. Yeah, I'll bet 720 vending is a little closer to. to yeah, to halfway, he's got though. long videos, so I think that makes yeah. a big difference. It does. It does make a make a difference for mm -hmm. sure. All right, cool. All right, so uh, the Moon Water Mineral says, "Awesome! I'll be sure to add yours to the running playlist." 720. Nice. That's cool. That's wonderful. Yes, yep. that's very awesome. All right, 720 Vending also talking about credit card sales. Says, in the last two months, I've had a dramatic flip with credit card sales at my retirement apartment snack machine. And now it's getting more card sales than cash. I've seen yeah. that a few a few more in my locations, too. More credit card transactions mm -hmm. than I used to get, for sure. Yeah. Um, cool. I mean, like the same thing with our dealership. Like it wasn't like that when we first started. It was yeah. a lot of cash, and now it's mostly cards. And so I, I don't know what's going on. If they just have better interest rates now with cards, and people are, yeah. you know, it's just they just don't like carrying cash. But I also know it's like banks aren't open as much. I don't know if that you're having that issue where you guys live too, yeah. where like the bank hours have changed. Like in our town, like they're closed a lot more days now than they used to be. So maybe it's harder to get money. I, th I don't I, know. I feel like it is harder to get money. Like I, mm -hmm. I just feel like this over the past three years we've just been so accustomed to you know not touching money because it's dirty yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> like and that's just kind of and the whole the whole coin shortage thing whatever yeah right so all of that i think it's kind of conditioned us to be more credit and debit card dependent and i don't know about the whole coin shortage thing by the way because i mean like our coins are still crazy so I mean, yeah still, mine too. you know i don't know about that but mine too yeah i got that's you know, we'll save that for a conspiracy theory channel. But, but, uh, <laughs> I, orders. I still going through a bunch. Yeah, of them, right? right. Well, I know. Right here, already done. I'm going through at least 500 and quarters a month. So yeah, it's probably I, I like 300 dollars and quarters today. It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, let's see here. Delwig says I need to get going on the comments on your videos, guys. Don't be surprised if you see my name pop up a bunch of times in a row. Okay. That's all right. The comments a lot too. There's no complaining about that, Delwig. Comment away. That's all good. David, why don't you talk about insurance real quick? Since we're almost, we're only like yeah. Let's do behind. that. Let's do that. Oh, go ahead and tell yeah. us about. Yeah, tell them about that. So, uh, for those who are looking to get uh, insurance for their business and for their vending and such, we actually came across Next Insurance. It's actually the same insurance that Quick Play uses apparently uh, for their insurance because. The insurance they do liability that you can do uh you know also you can do for your machinery and, and equipment but if you just want liability the price is so affordable i got quoted at like 27 dollars a month which is like it's 350 or 340 dollars for me for the whole entire year which is nearly half the price well about 40 percent cheaper than what i was paying with my bundle insurance with progressive so of course i switched over because saving money i mean that's a lot of money each year. You know, that's a whole NIAX reader pretty much I yeah. can buy uh, each year by saving that much money. But once again, uh, I run, that's a business based off about $150,000 a year in, in sales. So if you're smaller, you can expect a smaller rate quote. But the main thing is you're going to be able to set it up. We have the link in the Discord. And if you guys want to, you can message us, any of us, and we'll give it to you. Uh, but there's actually a page that says in the discord where you can get this and sign up for it and it'll yeah. save you a lot of money and you can get your insurance and feel safe that if any sour tragedy happens, someone tilts the machine gets hurt or scratches their arm, they try to sue you. You're protected. <laughs> yep. And I did a million dollars 
uh, for for liability. So saved us all money. Heck yeah. <laughs> saved everybody. yeah. Yeah, it's going to save everybody money. So, and we're looking for more deals like that. Like yes. we want to do like a credit card, hopefully for the Discord and some other stuff too. But we're looking out for everybody because we're running in the same issues that everybody else has. Yep. And so we yeah. want to be able to help. If we find good stuff, we're going to share it for sure. Because and, and honestly, like liability insurance is a big like saver. Like that's my biggest fear is someone going into the machine and like jumping on it and being stupid and getting hurt. Yeah. And then like, I'm in, I'm responsible for that. That's my biggest fear. And having liability insurance is just it's you know I won't. Well, like you I, see I doubt I'm going to pay out more than a million dollars. So, yeah, you like you see those stupid people on those those punching bag games and stuff, and they're doing all yeah. those things. You know, you see those videos. Right. And just imagine what helicopter kicks and stuff. Yeah, yeah and it's just you know <laughs> about right. insurance all the time. So once yeah. again, just go to Discord, man. We'll help. We'll help you out. It saved me a lot of money. I know Galaxy Games and Howard are probably real excited about the quotes. I don't know if you guys sure. did you guys switch over yet, or you're about to, or something like that. I'm mm -hmm. I'm paid up through November, so I can't switch till November. Yeah, so. we're in the process right now. So yeah, yeah. thank you, David. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> yeah. thank you for that. All right, yeah. light, lightning round on some comments before we okay. close up. Uh, 720 Vending says I'm an OG clock kicker sub. That's what got me started in vending machines. Very cool. Yeah. Ryan B eighteen or three says can't wait for Vegas videos. Yes. All Things Sports says, I got a mini claw. What should I do with it? Go find a restaurant. Yeah. Right? Go find a restaurant to put it in. Absolutely. Boba Shop. Boba Shop. Yeah, that seems to be the going thing right now. Boba Shops is good. Um, let's see here. Um, Black Girl says, Chrome Vending was the first channel I watched. Yeah, Mike G. He was a, he, he was a, a great vendor. And then Kevin at CandyMachines.com says, I remember Chrome Vending and Farnsworth in Vegas. Yeah, uh, if I recall correctly, like they all had a great collaboration. It was um, Jaime, Jamie, um, Aaron from um, Clock Kicker. Clock Kicker. Mm -hmm. Quick Play was there. Mike G was there. And they were all. I'm going to have to go back and watch some of those old videos now. That's what I'm going to do this week on the treadmill. I'm going to watch some, <laughs> old, some old videos for sure. Um, uh, she, she says she also watched Farnsworth also. Yeah. So the Polar Bear or Farnsworthy Vending, he sometimes called himself. It's pretty cool. And then um, Trades is asking, do you need an LLC or EIN to get general liability insurance? You should not have to. Mm -hmm. No. They'll, they'll give anyone insurance. That's how they make their money. <laughs> and then last comment, we'll, we'll highlight one more comment, actually maybe two. Um, 720 Vending says, I've noticed a lot of dealers have stopped accepting cash. I'm not sure what, what kind of dealers you mean. Um, but uh, yeah, and then lastly, Frosty's asking, are any of you all planning on getting an arcade at a mall? We kind of talked about this I'd earlier. We would, love to. Um, we would can, love to. If we can, if we can negotiate the right leasing agreement, yeah, it's it's in the future for everyone. Um, even if I can't negotiate the right leasing agreement, I think once if the channel gets big enough to kind of more kind of kick in the backing financially, then I would be a little bit more lenient with that leasing deal possibly so yeah who knows maybe um maybe once um maybe once the channel gets big enough that'll be a possibility for me right now it's not unless i can find the right leasing deal but uh who knows maybe maybe someday for sure we'll see what happens all right uh any other comments we need to address here uh keith uh. says do you need to pay sales tax on claw machine sales that's a great question what do you what are your thoughts on that Go ahead, David. Oh, sales tax? Well, you mean like uh, like like your normal taxes, but not like sales tax? Yeah, I don't think so. Like I said, I, yeah. I, I hand off everything to an accountant. I let him take care of all this yeah. stuff. So mm -hmm. that would yeah, be probably, be a, probably, probably be a question you would ask your because, tax professional. And it's different yeah. from full line yeah. than it is for clause. So for sure. Just your normal taxes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, well, I think that is all the comments. So we're going to cut off the comments right there. Any other comments that come in, I do apologize. We're not going to be able to address them. We'll make sure we hit them next week, though. So let's talk one more time about the Super Mini Claw Machine giveaway. Jonathan, so we, we have teamed up with CandyMachines.com, and we are giving away a Super Mini Claw Machine. So if you guys have seen these, they got the big, giant um, uh, prize lockers on the top. They've yes. got many different you know designs, depending on what you're looking for, what location it's going into. Um, they 
they're just really well built quality machines and and they they run you know it's almost fifteen hundred dollars so we're giving away a pretty big prize nothing like this has been given away yet on any vending channel that i've ever seen and we've done it together with candy machines and they have teamed up with us and now quick play who's been talking about it in their videos and we're going to do more giveaways with them soon too and we have more coming which is very cool but it's really easy to enter. All you need to do is there is a Candy Machines link, and that is how we're keeping track of everybody that's in the contest overall. So you need to go and takes about a minute or two on their website, fill that out, and they won't be sending you any weird stuff or anything. It's just to get a list of all the people that are entered to win. Then you need to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843, subscribe to Extreme Vending, and then extreme, ex subscribe to Howard Hospitality Group, which is our channel, and mm -hmm. then you need to join the Discord. And in the Discord is also the information there. Also, how to enter to win is also in the description of this video. And once you do that, you're entered. And it's that simple. So it's five things, but they're really simple. Five things, which will take you about five minutes total, probably. I mean, to do it all and get it all done. And then every time you comment on one of our videos, uh, whether they're old videos or new videos, you get an extra entry into the contest. So make sure you watch our videos and enter and put comments. And so, yeah. Pretty awesome. Thank you, CandyMachines.com. Thank you, Quick yes, Play. For thank the you, help. Kevin. Yep. So we always awesome. appreciate you, Kevin. Thank you for always being on our stream. Yeah, and thank you for answering my texts when I don't, when <laughs> yes. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, good so, customer service by yeah, far. Absolutely. The best. Awesome. So, so we've got a couple minutes before we before we like have a hard stop. Okay. What videos do you guys have coming out this week? We're working on a video right now where we have we've gotten a bunch of product from a different from different vendors in the US. So we've ordered um, Kamashi mixes and toys and stuff from like Sweet Tree King and uh, CandyMachines.com, um, Flatline Vending, Flatline Capsules, um, SSM Vending. We've ordered a bunch of boxes from a bunch of places and we're putting them all into one video with where to get them, what comes in the box, awesome. how much does it cost? And so we're working on a product video right now, which is really cool because we had nice. that issue when we got started and we really didn't know what to buy or where to get it. So that's the video that Amelia and I have been working on for the past actually week and a half. So every time we get a box, we've been going through the box and doing our video and then we're putting it all together. So that's coming up for us. Plus we have Sam and I are gonna go out and do full line tomorrow. So we're gonna record nice. him doing some full line collecting tomorrow too. David? So what you got on the pike? Uh, I got a couple collection videos, but I also redid my Nyx video. You know, because I did that first one, yeah. I didn't have the right part, so it kind of screwed me up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I redid this. It was a lot easier the second time around. A lot more prepared. So I do want to put up another <laughs> Nyx video on how to install it because I feel like this is going to be the better one. So uh, that's on. Uh, I have that recorded already. I just have to do the voiceover and piece it all good. together. Of course. Good, 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 good. Nice. What are you doing? Me. Mr. Actually, eight videos a week. I've actually got like ten videos in the queue right now. So uh, <laughs> the next the next video should be should be a laundromat collection video. I'll be doing the uh, Happy House Neo Funds claw machine repair video. I haven't cool. shot that one yet, but uh, I plan on probably shooting that one this weekend. So look for the laundromat video collection video this weekend. I've actually got two of those filmed, so this will be the one from before. And then I filmed another one there today, so that probably won't come out for a couple weeks. But um, and then of course we've got. Um, you know, more barbershop, more truck accessory shop. I've got a couple other things in there too that I can't even remember what they are right now. So I'll have to go look. But always got lots of great videos coming your way. Thank you all so much for your support, for watching our channels, for all the watch Thank time, all the likes, for all the subscriptions. Yeah. We do appreciate it. We couldn't do all this, guys, without, without all you out there. So thanks for coming and joining us every week on the live stream. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your interactions. We really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. For sure. With that said, we're in our last minute, so we're going to start wrapping things up right here. Um, one more reminder, make sure you do all the things in the, in the uh, description to get yourself a, an entry for the Super Mini Claw Machine. Um, join us on our Discord. We'll keep the conversation going on over there, addressing yeah. questions, interacting, everything like that. So that's if where you can you. always find us. So make sure you join us there. But with that if said, we've got to wrap it up right here, guys, because we are out of time. So thanks again for joining us. We're going to end it right here, guys. Have a great night. Thanks Bye. again, guys. Appreciate you.